Good afternoon, everybody. Good evening. Good morning. Good night. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever your time of day. Welcome to the stream this evening. Uh, Friday, the 15th of December. Where is this month going? Uh, where is this week going? Today's been completely manic. Um, I'm completely shattered after last night, but more about that in a minute, because uh, last night was just crazy, crazy, crazy night. Um, but first of all, I've already got 13 people in the room and I'm two minutes into the stream. Crazy. Uh, can I just get a thumbs up to make sure that the sound and the visuals are OK? They they look OK on OBS at the moment. And forgive me, those of you that knew around here, I have my OBS and chat over on the right hand side and I have the camera on the left. So I tend to be looking backwards and forwards. So I apologize for that, that I'm not addressing the camera at all times. Um, in the chat at the moment, we have got Mars Lemon. Good morning. Doing a daily race C and then I'll be trying to get into the lobby. So welcome. Don't do what I did last night. We'll get to that in a moment. Uh, DJ. Hello. RL250. Hello. Uh, Ernie Ball. Hello, everyone. Kushti just popped in to drop a like. Unfortunately, I can't stay. I hope you all have a great evening. Thank you very much, Kushti. Thank you for popping in and dropping the like. It's much appreciated. Uh, M1 and Racing. Hello, Mitchell. Hello, chats. Oh, hello, mate. Um, looks like you're already in the room. Um, Bargo Nige. Good evening. A uh, Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Galatico. Evening all. And Wayne. Hello, Mitchell and everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. One and all. Welcome all. We've got uh, a couple in the room already. Um, also want to welcome Michael uh, four hours ago, subscriber to the channel. Thank you ever so much. Uh, we're up to 1,227, uh, 1, which is insane. There's no other way of putting that. Absolutely insane. After we hit that thousand subscribers um, over the last few weeks, it's just gone crazy. So thank you to everybody that's subscribing at the moment. It would be fantastic if we could get to... Uh, 1,230 tonight. That would absolutely make my day. But tonight is not about me. It's not about subscriber counts and Google Analytics and everything else. It is about having some fun. You'll notice on the shelf here, we have got the wonderful BMW M3. Loaded up, I've got the Ferrari GTO from 1984. That will give you a clue. You'll also notice the classic 1960s Mini Cooper, ready there in green to run towards the end of the night in Goodwood in a single make race. So hopefully you've all got your classic minis ready. Uh, so tonight, if I grab my piece of paper, I am planning to do 1980s era cars at Laguna Seca. Set up, the room is ready. Then we're going to head off to Coyote for a 1970s era session. Now, you might notice I'm using the word session and not race. Then we're going to be heading off to Monza for 1960s. And boy, two or three of us have got something special coming on that one. And then we'll finish up at good old Goodwood in the minis. That's the plan for this evening. Now, I've deliberately not used the word race. The reason why I am not using the word race is tonight it's not about the racing. It really isn't all about the racing. It's about grabbing your favorite cars in the game from those eras, just taking them out, showing them off, having a run and running cars that we really don't get to run very often. Um, we're going to have some super fast cars in here. We're going to have hyper cars, super cars, average cars, GT4s, GT3s, GT1s. Right the way down to your little Fiat's and Minis and whatever you want to run. It's all about just coming out, running them on the track and for a little while, popping them back in a garage and we'll bring them out another day. So the way it's going to happen is we'll run just a little bit of a practice session, it says on the on the screen. Uh, but a little bit of a practice session where people just running them, getting a the feel for their cars and just enjoying the other cars that are around the place as well. And then we'll run a little 10 minute race, um, whereas the race will turn up to probably be little races between maybe two, two races, maybe three races. 
You might have somebody that's hooning around, just lamping everybody all the time. Um, it's just it's just a load of fun just coming out with these cars and enjoying them. Uh, and the other thing at this point where we're running this little sort of practice session, people can just jump into different cars, swap them around. I mean, you already see there that, you know, M1M Racing is in a, is in a beautiful Porsche 959. I'm in the GTO 84. Uh, HJK has come out in the MP4. Um, Galatico is in one of my favourite cars of the 80s, the, the M3 Sport. And um, RL 250s in the Sauber, you know, some really, really quick cars. Now, it's really interesting that that some of the guys have jumped into super, super, super silly fast cars here. I can almost guarantee over the next 10 minutes, they're probably going to jump out into something a little less mad, a little less mad. Um, but it's, it's not about it's, it's just about enjoying the cars that you want, the cars that you want. Now, um, yesterday was real fun real fun i had a, a great time on the lobbies and then we jumped into the um daily race seas oh my word my first race we were running i have my pit crew mad mikey he's just jumped in the room my pit crew yesterday have my back all the way through don't forget to pit don't forget to change tires first race oh did i mess it up first of all i was um doing the the, the pre-race practice and of course, what I didn't realise is that when it gets into the race, you can't change your tyres. You can in the, uh, the the lobby races, but you can't in the daily races. So I ended up, or I missed it. I think it was I missed it. So I ended up running on the soft tyres instead of doing the medium softs. So I thought, okay, no worries. Everybody had my back. We were running to a um, lap number nine. We were going to come in pit, change on to the mediums, and away we go. I came in second place in the bag. And I went softs, softs. As soon as I pushed the button, I knew what I'd done. Came out the pits, kept that second place, and then just sat there at the end and just watched it go three, four, five, six. We dropped all the way to 13th. Not only did I pit wasting time, we put the wrong tyres on. We got a minute penalty. If all of that wasn't bad enough, we then took a massive hit on our TR as well. Oh, I could have cried. I could have cried. Uh, but then we had, we came out and we had another couple of races which were pretty good. Um, really, really good. I was up against two really quick races and um, we got a third, I think. I, I can't remember the other one I got. Uh, but yeah, afterwards, I channeled that anger and we had some pretty, pretty smart races. Um... MC Motorsports, I am taking a plane to visit South Korea tomorrow. So for tonight, I will be busy packing. No worries, my friend. No worries. Safe journeys. Safe journeys. That's a long old flight. I hope everything goes well and that you have a wonderful, wonderful trip, uh, trip over there. Uh, so safe, 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 safe travels. Uh, stay in touch if you can. Uh, but if not, we'll see you when you're back. Shumi, hi. Oh, cars seem a little unbalanced power wise. Yeah, that doesn't matter tonight, Shumi. We're not racing. We're not racing tonight. This is all about in your favourite cars of the era. We're running 1980s era cars at the moment. As you can see there, everybody's got all their 1980 cars out there. And we're just going out there and we're just going to enjoy them. We're going to savour the sights, the sounds. We're just going to have some little individual battles. And as I said a minute ago, I fully expect that some of those guys that have come out with those supercars, they're probably going to ditch them soon. They'll probably ditch them soon enough. Um, so uh, what I've done with my gloves. I mean, just listen to the sound of that Ferrari. You really can't go wrong with that, can you? Can I get my gloves on before the uh, auto drive finishes? No, I can't. Oh, I just love the sound of this Ferrari. It makes me smile every time I get in it. Forgive me, I'm going to turn the volume up on the TV a little bit. Because it's just a sound to savour. Oh, Ernie Ball's got a wide body BMW. 
I should say that pretty much all the restrictions are turned off for this one. Just about everything. We've got all tyres, all power, all everything. G Dad, welcome to the channel, my friend. Whoa. Oh, look at that for a slide. <laughs> uh, Mike joining VR tonight, Mitch. Hope you're well, mate. I am very well. I'm very well. I've got over the catastrophe that was last night. Whoa, this car is a bit leery. That would help, wouldn't it? That's because I've been jibber jabbering. Any ball, not a problem. You're um, you're in the uh, you're in the chat. You've joined my friend already. This is no way to treat a Ferrari GTO. I tell you what, I couldn't do this with the um, with my old G29. Oh, 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 around we go. No worries, Shimmy. Whenever you're ready, my friend. Absolutely no rush. What I will do is when we've got a few more cars in, I'm going to jump into spectate and just have a look and see what people are running. Ernie Ball, your car's not allowed. Why is your car not allowed? Why is your car not allowed? Bear with you a second. Hold on a moment. Might have to change a few of these bits and pieces back later on. Um, give that a go. Give that a go, my friend. We have completely. Um, completely we've removed all restrictions. When we've done this previously, I've had a few restrictions in there just to try and balance out the cars a little bit for some of the races. Uh, but tonight, now nah, just. Run anything, run absolutely anything. Obviously, if you are in a stonkingly fast car, you're just going to have to watch some of the other cars that are running on track. So if you've got somebody going around there in a regular, a regular Joe's car, and you're cooning around there in a G1, GR1, then you are going to need to just be a little bit careful. to the sound that is the sound of the 80s my friends that is the sound of the 80s whoa and that's the sound of uh, <laughs> me driving oh, way, way too deep I, I need to uh, back off a little bit on this one <laughs> Tonight really is just a complete getaway from all of the hard and fast racing that we all do all the time and the uh, all the competitiveness. This is just enjoying these cars. Hey, we've got a new subscriber. Bye bye Vitz. Welcome to the channel. Oi oi Marley Diesel. How are you doing my friend? What wheel do I use? I've got the Logitech um, DD Pro. Which I've had now for a couple of weeks. Before that I had the Logitech G29. So 
So those of you that are joining us tonight, it's not about racing. Tonight is all about coming out in your favourite cars from currently uh, the 1980s. Uh, then we'll move on to the 1970s and then the 1960s and then we'll finish up with a one mate race which is going to be the classic minis hopefully stock or as near stock as you can oh this gto is hard to drive around here normally i'm driving this around goodwood um, but i thought we'd get this one out with the the classic quarter screw classic cars around a classic track and then we've got Kyoto driving part with its long sweeping corners for the 1970s uh, then we're going to be heading off to Monza for the 1960s because three of us have got a real treat for you and um, then we go for the minis ah M1 the only reason I said just normal classic stock is it's it makes for a good race uh, if yours is tuned and wide you're probably going to run away and win, win the race but that doesn't matter at the end of the day like I said tonight is not it's not about winning it's not about the racing it's just about getting out here and having some fun in these awesome cars So we're going to run this to about um, 11 o'clock tonight. So I've got four races in mind. So around about half an hour per, uh, per run. Uh, so probably about 15, 20 minutes of just messing around. Then we get a little 10 minute race, which just brings everybody together. And then we we'll move on to the next one. So I'm going to run this one up until, um, it'll, it'll probably be about 20 minutes per one probably 10 and 10 whoa because uh, time has already got away from me I'm struggling with this car around here What I thought I would do is just have a little bit of a Ferrari night tonight. I've got a, one from the 80s, one from the 70s, and then one from the 60s. So that was uh, my plan. But this one's actually really hard to drive around here. There we go, Ernie Ball. Look at that. That's a beautiful BMW. So that's wide body kit on that one. Look at that, guys. I've got to do that to one of mine. That looks so nice. I can't drift to save my life. Tuned minis at Sukaba. Okay, we could take the minis around Sukaba. Mine isn't tuned, that's the only thing. I think I've got one that's possibly got air filter and exhaust and that's about it. So when we get to that one, let me know, remind me, and I'm happy to head off to Sukuba. Whoa, why is it whenever I go over there, the car goes, um, the car goes right and I want to go left? There she is. I'm never going to be out driving this view, but that is an amazing looking car. And it sounds amazing. Oh, we've got somebody else coming up. Who have we got coming up behind? Who's going to come around by me? 
Who have we got? Oh, it's Andy Ball again. <laughs> I thought maybe it was one of the others. Oh, oh that sound. Mert 190 Evo, Sierra Cosworth. Is that what we got out on track? I normally run the Sierra Cosworth. Oh, I love this Sierra Cosworth. I drove one of those back in the 80s. Both the... Um, well, I did the Sierra Cosworth, the original. The Sapphire Cosworth, which was the booty version. And I even got out in an RS500 as well. Paul White, um, are you a, a friend of mine? Uh, if you haven't, send me a friend request via PSN. I will um, accept the friend request and then you'll be able to find the lobby. Uh, alternatively, if you're on the European... No, it's friends only, so you're going to need to send a friend request. Um, I've got a quick request at the moment um, about tyres. Um, no, sorry guys, just a very quick, um, very quick room change. I can't believe how many people we've got in this room already. 22 people watching on the stream. <sighs> you see, the cars are going to change as well. <laughs> All those people in those super fast cars, they're, they're going to change. They're going to come into uh, to other things. The same guy, good evening. How are you, my friend? Um, tonight is one of those nights where I'm constantly going to be looking at my phone because there's going to be friend requests coming in left, right and centre, I think. So um, are the um, the audios and the visuals OK? I hope that they are. So we got a friend request already. HJK23, friend request accepted. Um, So, Paul, if you want to send me a friend request, let me know in the chat. As soon as you've done that, I'll accept that and we will be in. So, um, I mean, look at look at the cars that people are choosing. RAF, anything you want, anything you want. Just bear in mind, if you're coming out in a race car, you're going to be a lot quicker than somebody in a Golf GTI or a M3. M3. Uh, we're just running the cars that we loved back in the day that we had on posters on the wall or maybe that we drove and things like that so you got Carlos in the Sierra OS 500 M1 in that 911 turbo the Widowmaker I'm glad somebody's taking the Widowmaker out we got Ernie Ball in the M3 Sport a beautiful beautiful turned out car that one is RL in the Sauber another wonderful car Silo in the 205 Turbo HGK in a 959 Galatikor and another M3 Three sport that looks like that's a standard edition one very nicely looking lemon in a 911 turbo already one so we got another widow maker mad mikey in a golf gti wasn't that an awesome car back in the day look at those two running together see this is what it's all about we've got i'm going to go and, and, and view a few people in a moment uh ref in a 959 uh, g dad in the 911 turbo um, I am currently in the um, Ferrari GTO, uh, but really it doesn't matter what you're in. And we've already got a few cars matching up. They can run around together in tandem. You'll see people that will be charging ahead, slowing down, joining other people. That's RL 250 and that wicked Sauber. He's going to be tearing the strip up. Uh, we've got a Porsche 911 just taking a trip to... Uh, into the dirt there for uh, for just a moment. Uh, well, they've got me in the in the pits. Let's just change this. Um, oh, that was just coming out. G Dad. Oh, that's a beautiful 911. Look at that in the black with the white trim, white and red trim. 
just caught him in the right time as you took a uh, an early dive into the gravel beautiful looking car helps if you get the right view there we go that's the one i want look at that m1 in another 911 that's that, like an electric blue purpley color private plates on the front and back beautiful car look at that it's just lovely to enjoy these cars going around hj 959 nice standard car all in black beautiful color for that one but white i've got 100 plus mitchell morgan on ps network right it's mitchell hyphen hyphen morgan is what you're looking for in fact, if you do, um, if somebody types PSN for me, it will come up with the, the name. So RL250 is streaming in the cockpit view on the Sauber. If anybody is interested in popping over and having a nose at that. If you do, pop something in the chat. Tell you Mitchell Morgan sent you. <laughs> and uh, smack the like button. If you haven't subscribed to him, hit that subscribe button as well. Show me in a is that Corvette? That's a good choice around here, isn't it? Oh, it's a bit dented. That one, I think, that needs to go off to the uh, to the panel beat. Is pretty quick, smart. Another cool car. G in that uh, 911, and then we're back to Silo in the um, Peugeots in the pits, and then we're back to RL250 in that beautiful Sauber. So. I want to get out on track. I want to get out on track. So those are the, some of the cars that we've got in there at the moment. Uh, I'm going to pop out on track. And we'll just enjoy them for a little while. And then um, we'll get into a bit of a, just a little bit of a race for 10 minutes. Then we'll hop on and do another one. <laughs> That's what it's all about. You won't find the timings go to pot tonight. Um, it really doesn't matter. For those of you just joining, whoa. Paul, I just got your um, request in. That's accepted, my friend. Um, yeah, I'm just going to run a few laps and then um, we'll, we'll maybe jump in uh, into a little bit of a race. Now, again, the race isn't a race per se. It's just we'll all be running together you know from from an initial start <laughs> Shumi cannot keep that car on the track <laughs> do you know what we've been hooning around in really nice gr3 cars around um uh, um yeah i know the track it's gone out of my head sardegna sardegna uh, all week with uh, you know all modern age now we jumped in these 1980s cars and it's cool none of us can keep on the track <laughs> Oh, I went for this one because of this classic corkscrew, which I'm going through at a really strange angle. Oh, the sound of this thing. I think I'm bringing the 308 out in the 1970s. And then we've got an awesome world treat for you guys uh, for the 1960s. Assuming all three of us are in the room tonight. Oh, I want to catch up with Mad Mikey. Look at that. He's in an absolute icon of the 80s. An absolute icon of the 80s. Look at that. What a beautiful car. Golf GTI. Who didn't want one of those back in the 80s? Guess who never had one? <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying that car too much. I've just driven off the road. Let's see if I can... Uh, no, I can't catch up with them. I cannot keep this Ferrari on track. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what we'll do for the race. Um, for the race. Because I'm going to be in everybody's way. Uh, let's go change car. 
Now I've got all of my cars in date order so I can find them easily. Um, he says easily. Somewhere down here. Uh, if I can get into the 80s. Um, um, I'm going to grab my cozy, I think. I bet that um, Sauber looks awesome in the um, in the uh, cockpit view. Ah, I'm going to change the uh, the tyres. I think on that one. Uh, car settings. So as I said, this is all about just having fun, enjoying these cars. And you'll find during this little practice session, we're not necessarily all out on track at the same time. Sometimes we'll be coming in, trying different cars, enjoying watching some of the other guys running in spectator mode, as I did just a minute ago. we got up from whoa <laughs> so I got a, uh, don't know quite what was going on there Galactico doing some um, some drifting got two M M3s together. Nice number plate on Galacticor's one. I do like Ernie's. That looks nice. I had never thought of um, doing one of mine uh, <laughs> in um, wide body. It looks really nice with those white wheels too. Let's just uh, head off and see what else we can find on track. So a couple of little cars uh, further up. I don't know if I can catch up with them. That Sauber will come by me in a minute, probably. Isn't it weird how Gran Turismo does not need to be? Here he goes. Oh, it's slowed down. Just let me through here. Gran Turismo does not need to be all about racing all the time. Sometimes a big part of the game is collecting cars. Well, what's the point in collecting cars if you can't get out there and enjoy them once in a while? Oh! Big old slide round there. So we got. I cannot drift to save my life. Whenever I drift, I end up in a wall. <laughs> what have we got coming around? Oh, we got a red one coming around. What's this? What's this? What's? This? Hey. Matt Mikey in. I don't know what that was. He went past so quick. Is that a Nissan? I 
Very nice. It's nice just to run around, just enjoying the other cars on track. So we've got a couple of the, the uh, Porsches coming through. So that's Carlos in the... That's five night. Whoa! <laughs> Sorry, Ernie. <laughs> As I said, those people are having fun doing donuts and stuff. You got to be careful when the, of, of them when you're in a quicker car. And I just totally ignored my own advice. I was just trying to keep up with uh, Carlos to enjoy this Porsche for the moment. Look at that! Whoa! Sorry. I haven't got a horn on this car. It's got to go still try still doing the uh, the drifts. What have we got up front up ahead of um, Carlos? So what have we got down the road now that's glinting in the sunshine? Mast Lemon in a nine eleven. That's a nice colour scheme. Again, white wheels. Nicely turned out. Oh, I thought it was blue. It's not, it's black. Right, I think... I think it's time... to break up the party and start a new one. So we'll do a little two minute race. Now, as I said, you can't have a race with all of these different vehicles. So um, it is a bit of fun. All this does is it just brings us all together in no particular order. 14 beautiful cars from the 1980s. Look at that Cosworth, an absolute icon of the age. We've got some other amazing cars in here. Um, some people will probably have a two or three on um, race together others will just tear off others will just drop back <laughs> or else just kind of come hurtling through the same guy we are almost all going to bump into each other because we're just we've got so many different vehicles and some of them are drivable and some of them are not some people are showboating, other people are, are just running around as quick as they can. For me, I'm just enjoying running this Cosworth and enjoying the cars that I'm driving around. Whoa! I just dropped it. Hey Tony, thanks for smashing the like button my friend. Thank you. Shumi rejoining the track. We're just having some fun tonight, my friend. Just having some fun in some cars from back in the day. Ozzy goes into the corkscrew over the top, down through the bottom, or oh, big slide on the exit. Down to the left hander, tries to pick up the apex, or. Oh. Another slide and around we go this time. Held the first one, dropped it on the second one. <laughs> oh, let's not go reversing onto the track. Go on, for you two go. Looks like Silo and Carlos are having a nice little battle. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. I just wanted to have a look at Galactical's car, you see that's why I turned that one around.
Come on in, my friend. Don't worry, Gino. I did that with the Ferrari. I couldn't keep it on the track, but it's all just about enjoying the cars that you're in. Just take it slower. Just toodle around. Just enjoy, enjoy the cars. And one's taken a trip across the gravel. It does remind us just how difficult some of these cars were to drive back in the day compared to what we have now. You know, we spend all week hooning around in GR4s, GR3s, doing the daily races. And then you come out and you just do something like this. Just a bit of fun. Down into the court screw. Yeah, yeah, we've gone round again. Same place. Ah, oh, wasn't clever. All right, let's not try and take anybody out. We've got a couple of cars just coming through. See if we can catch up with M1. God, that Porsche is quick. That he's in. Got another, another yellow flag up for some reason. Somebody else has taken an early bath, I think. God, that 911 looks nice. Who are we catching up with now? Silo, I think. It's hard to tell because obviously the positions are all messed up. And yeah, it's Silo. Look at that. BMW and Porsche running together side by side. Ford Sierra, Cosworth catching them up. Oh! Those two came together. And we're catching up with another Porsche as well. Oh, looks like we got a uh, faster car coming through. Oh, Lemon's getting that uh, Porsche nicely out of shape. Hey, through comes the uh, the Sauber. I think we're going to get a visit from Mr. Sauber in a moment. Here he comes, we're going to stay over to the right hand side. He'll go up the inside. Whoa, I've, I've dropped it, I've dropped it right in front of him. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, when this Sierra goes, it really does go when you lose it. Mars Lemon's thrown it off too, I think he just wants a bit more air time. Keep the sponsors happy. Picking up some dust. Oh, big jump off the curbs. Did you see that? Whoa, look at that slide. And he kept it on. Did he keep it on? Nearly. Oh, you think he did? Have we got another car in the gravel? Up we come to the corkscrew. Break in a straight line. Over the top in a straight line. Cotsworth still wanting to... Uh, I don't know whether that's talk steering or whether I'm just getting it wrong. This corner that's been getting me all night. There we go. Oh, still twitchy under acceleration. 
This is my Cosworth that I've done very little to. I've literally put the um, MMR 67 plates on it and I think it's bulk standard. I haven't done any work on this one. I don't think. Got a few of these cozies now. Right behind Silo again. We've got that beautiful Salba. Oh, look at this. We've got loads of cars together now. All different parrot of performance ratings. RL 250, look, just poodling around in amongst them. Got that. Is that, is that Nissan? Yes, it is Nissan Fair Lady. Got yeah, some nice little choice as well, look. We're all just running around together. Little bit of showboating. Just following round M1 at the moment. Oh, he put it on the gravel and I nearly did too. Fair lady coming up behind me. Okay, we've got one minute. Let's just take a little uh, look at some of these beautiful cars again just before we head off into the 1970s era. I'm going way over time as usual with these because I just enjoy these so much. That's an amazing car isn't it? going on board with him. Now, RL is running this in cockpit view on his stream. So if you want to go and watch him race, you can watch him in that view. That's the other cockpit view. Just an amazing look at the inside of that car. Absolutely beautiful. We've got uh, HJK with a um, a slightly rearranged front end. It looks like on the. Uh... Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Carlos chasing down RAF. Oh, look at them both together through there. Two nine five nines, if I'm not mistaken, together, running together. See, this is what's nice, where, where you just get two guys out. Similar cars, just running together. No competition, no pressure. It's just just out having some fun who else have we got on track uh, Mad Mikey oh we just finished that was Mad Mikey and that fair lady Shumi with a rather flamboyant uh, crossing of the line we just caught the end off there M1 racing so Shumi's Corvette looks like it's had better, seen better days um, that looks more like a barn find now, my friend, <laughs> than a, a pristine loved motor vehicle. That was M1's. Again, the front end looks like it's in better days. Silo in that uh, pretty much stock M3. Yeah, Mad Mikey was doing well. I want to try and catch up with him a little bit more as well. Mars Slam and another 911. Nicely turned out one. Uh, the Sim guy. I didn't see much of the Sim guy, I'm afraid. Uh, another Widowmaker out there. Uh, didn't see much of him on track, unfortunately. RAF and another Porsche. There are quite a few Porsches going around. So that's the Sim guy. The Sim guy's got a channel too. Pop across and say hello and uh, leave a, uh, a like and subscribe if you could on 
Uh, you often know the YouTube guys because they have YT on the top. Oh, my friends, that was fun. It's not all about the credits and stuff. So look at that array of cars that we had in there. Such a lot of fun. Drifting, sliding, racing. Some really fast, some really slow. Just, just, just fan dabby dozy. Okay, so now we are heading into Kyoto. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, where is Kyoto? I really wish they put these in some sort of order. Well, there probably is some sort of order, but I haven't worked it out yet. Can't see you. Kyoto Driving Park. There we go. So we're going to head off to Yamagaya. Gaia? Yamagaya, maybe. Uh, this is the one that we're doing. Again, uh, everything is all completely open. Uh, practice and endurance race. So the race which isn't a race, it'll be 10 minutes. Um, but rolling start, BOP is off, etc, etc, etc. Let's just change those event settings. And we'll see what people come out with this time, with this time. Again, it's, you know, it's not about hooning around in super quick cars. It's just about taking out the car that you want. So I'm just wondering what code we've got. I've just hear yeah, this uh, teeth grinding on a bone out there and just wanted to make sure that he wasn't doing something he shouldn't have been doing. Um, okay, so we're going to change the car. Um, again, I'm in year order. So we'll come down to 1970s this time, guys. Cars from the 1970s. Whatever you would like to run. Uh, so those are my 80s. I haven't got a lot of 70s, I don't think. Um, so we got a Fiber Trans Am, a Ferrari uh, 512, the 308 GTB, the one I'm thinking about doing, we've got Countach, the Stratos. I wonder if somebody's going to come out of the Stratos. That was an amazing car back in the day. Uh, you've got the BMW 3 litre, the Skyline, you've got another 911 Carrera. Uh, you've also got the Alpine, uh, you've got uh, another Fair Lady, and of course, you can't leave out the Mustang. Uh, and then just scraping in there, you've got the Ferrari Dino, the 365, the Pantera. And I guess somebody's going to come out in that uh, Mercedes. Who's going to have the have the Mercedes? Um yeah, man, Mikey, we can do that to do some BOP events in the future. Um, I have done BOP previously with the 1980s um, and uh, trying to get the BOP and the weight was very difficult to get performance. Uh, we still had cars that were very performant compared to others. Uh, then I tried to fix it so that it was one mate cars, but that got a bit too difficult as well. Uh, but we've got a whole load of different cars in here. You've got that Challenger as well. Uh, another BMW 3 litre. Uh, but in keeping with what I said, I'm going to go with the uh, 308 GTB for the moment. We'll go out in that one. So some of the choices you're already seeing. We've got Shumi and Adino, Carlos and a Fair Lady, M1 in a 308 GTB, Ernie Ball in the, uh, Julia, the Julia. You see... I think he's got a bit wrong. He's in a 1967 car. Or is he preparing for the next race, the 1960s? I really don't care. I still love the car. It looks beautiful. Uh, I'm in a GTB. RL250 is a GTB. Mars Lemon is in a Dukes of Hazard Charger. Uh, the Sim Guy in a GTB. Mad Mikey in a 3 litre CSL. So glad somebody's gone out in that. Um, love the Nods is in a GT40. Glad to see that's out on track too. So quite a few GTBs in this one. I'm really surprised. The uh, same guy. We are going to be doing the classic mini as well. Uh, for those of you joining us, we're at Kyoto at the moment for 1970s. We're then heading off to Monza for 1960s, and then we're going to finish up with the uh, mini, um, the mini race. Uh, so I'm going to get out on track for the minute. 
because I'm already way, 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 way behind my schedule. So we'll probably have about 10 minutes on here, take us up to around about 10 past. We'll then do a 10 minute race, uh, which again isn't a race. And then we'll head off to the next one. So I'm probably gonna go 10 minute, 10 minute, 10 minute for the next few. Now that we've got quite a few people in the room. This certainly, I was gonna say, is a lot easier to drive than the GTB, GTO, but still all over the place. And then during it, once I get the measure of this car, and I can keep it on track, I'll uh, hop into the pits, and then we're going to have a look and see what some of the guys are running. Not quite as forgiving as the old um, Sierra Cosi, this car. Got a few other people sliding around behind. I think Shumi's doing some barrel drifting. Um, pick this track for some of you that want to drift because I think it's um, got some nice long sweeping corners and uh, I think um, possibly a decent, decent drift circuit. Let's just um, let a few of these cars through and then we'll, we'll just follow, pick up a few and follow them. So we got uh, HJK in, not sure what that was. Shumi in the Dino, if I remember rightly. Again, showboating already. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? Pick him up as he gets it sideways on the exit. But he didn't on that occasion. Look at that, beautiful car. Isn't it beautiful? Gotta oh, look at that car lean. Through that corner, it's getting right up. On the, the chassis, right over. Down on one side, up on the other side through there. Isn't it gorgeous? Right, what else have we got on track? Uh, we got so we got another couple of cars coming up behind us. So let's just uh, we'll back off and let Shumi go. Uh, we'll see uh, see what we pick up next. Let's just get. Uh, Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't mean to do that actually. That wasn't deliberate. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm not gonna have to go and catch up with them if I can. Who's that in front? There's a lot of two by two cars going around. Which is good to see. Whoa! Oh my word, as soon as I touch the gear on this one, that's it, it goes round. That's my problem. I don't want to change down gear like I'm racing. So we've got up ahead. Got about four cars that are all going to come together in a moment. See if we can join them. There we go. What have we got? M1 in a uh, Ferrari GTB, and I'm going around again. As soon as I catch up, I bin it. Oh, that's so annoying. That's so annoying.
tell you what we'll do. Let's just catch up with these two and then I'm going to probably spectate and we'll just have a look at some of the cars that are running. So that's Shumi and his Dino. Whoa, Mad Mikey going around. And I've just done exactly the same thing. It's actually quite hard to keep on the track, this Ferrari. Surprisingly difficult. Another Ferrari that sounds awesome. Right, let's um, hop into the, the pit and we'll pick up the spectate. Let's go have a look. So we got HJK in a nice Golf livery. Uh, so obviously a Porsche. I'm not so good on my Porsche from the 1980s that looks awfully like a 959 though um, which I and we got IRL 250 in that Ferrari GTB it's a gorgeous looking car on it the only Ferrari that I've ever sat in is the 308 G um, Ferrari 308 GTI Quattro Valvo which is similar to that one. I, I really wish they'd bring the Quattro Valvo in. You've got Ernie Ball in front in the um, in the Guglia, the Alfa Romeo Guglia, or Julia, however you say that. So if I just stay with RL 250 for the moment, we'll get both of those two cars running together. He's just gone up the inside there. There we go, coming together. Oh, look at that for a picture absolutely beautiful those two cars running wicked um, we got uh, GY is that another Dino yes it is it is in yellow I love these old classic cars in safe hands rather than me chucking them off the car off for the track all the time. Uh, these two coming round together, Ernie Ball and Greg together. Another beautiful shot, really beautiful. Oh, Greg with a huge spin. That's no way to treat a beautiful car like that. <laughs> RL250 coming through as well. Uh, Galactical in a uh, BMW uh, that three, 3 Series. I never remember what that one's called. Nice livery. Going nicely. I always find the back of that, the front looks beautiful. I can never work out the back of that car. It's sort of, I don't know, it just looks a bit wrong to me. Um, got RAF behind and a nine, is that a 959 coming through? I think it may well be a 959 just coming through there. And I'm in the pits and then we're back with HJK in another of the Porsches. So we've got a couple of Porsches a few Ferraris and okay so um, I think we'll run for about another four minutes and then we'll jump into a little 10 minute race and then we head off to the 1960s the 1960s is going to be at Monza and I'm hoping we're going to have a really really cool surprise so in this one um, oh we didn't catch up with, with Greg I thought we did Greg's in a, looks like he's in a Firebird Trans Am now 
uh, Shumi in the Dino, Carlos in the GTB, M1 in the GTB, Ernie Ball, oh it's Ernie Ball in the Julia, uh, so I didn't catch up with, um, I thought we did, oh it doesn't matter, um, RL in the GTB, Silo in a Mustang, HJ in the, he is in a, uh, a 959, so that's uh, an 87 car even though we're in the 1980s, I think some of them have got confused with the decade that we're in, <laughs> Only <laughs> balls got sort of into 67, uh, which was a great year, of course. Um, IRL and in, 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 uh, Silo are, are still stuck in the 70s. Um, <laughs> uh, Mars Lemon's got the Firebird Trans Am. Oh, that's an iconic, iconic car. So I think we, we'll start this race. Uh, and the same guy in a Mustang. Uh, we'll start this one. And uh, we'll just see how we go. We've got Mad Mikey. Yes! Somebody's in the Stratos. Um, Love the Noz is in the Countach, another fantastic icon from the era. Uh, REF didn't get the memo about the year. He's in the 959 still. <coughs> I really don't care. And GDAD in the GTB. So we got um, a good old mix. Let's um, let's get this one underway, and then um, yeah, then we head off to the. 60s, we've got where I was then. Steering assist on Mitchell. <laughs> yeah, probably need it. Um, so you guys enjoying this. If, if you can, uh, when we're not racing, throw some thumbs up if you're enjoying this. Um, it's a little bit different. Different to um, what we normally do. And I apologise if I bump anybody, but I can't drive this car for Toppy. I'm just going to enjoy all the cars around me. So we've got Ernie Ball in that uh, Alpha. Shumi in the Dino. Carlos in a Ferrari as well. What have we got up front? What's Greg in? Was he in a Firebird? Whoa, I think he was and I'm going round already. I'm too busy looking at the other cars, not watching where I'm going. I'm in good company. There's another Ferrari just been dropped. Seriously, got to break this in a straight line. Break in a straight line, good and early. Don't change down. Leave it in a high gear. Carlos. Another Ferrari in the barrier. All the Ferraris are going off. Have you noticed there's a pattern going on here? Hey, hey, hey. Even going through there slow, it's getting away from me. Evening, Dublin Dave. How are you doing, my friend? Ernie's getting a little bit sideways in that Alpha. Shumi and Adino in front. Oh, lovely sideways from Ernie Ball through there. We've got a few Ferraris getting a bit twitchy behind. Ernie getting it nice and sideways again. Let's see if we can move on up a little bit and have a look at some of these cars up the front here. So we've got the uh, Mustang Mac in front in that uh, blue colour. Don't get too gritty under power. Yeah, 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 I've lost it again. That was a Stratos, I think, behind me. This is hard to drive, this car. So hard to drive. I think the Ferraris was a, uh, a difficult choice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 
Even trying to go around the corner and slow, assuming I lose it. <laughs> oh, we can't even drive slowly around him and these Ferraris. What was Enzo thinking when he created these cars? <laughs> oh, my word. Dublin Day's got a problem with his G29. Not able to race. No. So watching isn't so enjoyable, but... Ah... Uh, uh, it's a shame you're not out running with us. I'm sorry to hear you got problems with it. Are they fixable problems or is it throw away and start again problems? Wow, well, we've got a couple of cars behind. Let's just um, let them catch up and see what we got running. Let's just try and keep out of the way a bit. Who we got here? M1. M1 in a Ferrari. Same as me. Oh. Both of us being careful through there. Oh, it sounds awesome when you get two of these together. Yep, that's what I keep doing, M1. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a couple more couple more cars coming through. We've got a Dino. Yeah, this is a little Ferrari quarter, this one. So M1's gathered it back up. <laughs> Assume he's going for another early bath. Oh, well, I'm going off too. <laughs> You would think none of us could drive. What else have we got? We got three cars up the back. Let's just um, let's just hang back for a moment. And uh, we got three cars coming down the hill at the moment. Just waiting for them to come over the top. Oh, that's the Lamborghini Countach. Or Countach. And we've got um, Galatico in the BMW. Oh, the Lamborghini's very kindly just chucked it off the road, which has brought all three of us together. Love the nice thanks for that. Look at this. We've got these two together now, the BMW. Galatico's in that one. Love the nods, just trying to keep that Lamborghini in a straight line and failing. <laughs> it's, uh, these cars are so hard to drive. They're so hard to drive. But such fun. Look at that Lambo. Oh. Okay, let's leave the Lambo. <laughs> He's just embedded down in the wall. Let's catch up with this Beamer and enjoy the Beamer for the moment if we can so we've got three minutes to run no I did the uh, the 84 GTO a minute ago um, that was almost impossible to drive around um, wherever it was we were I've forgotten now uh, Laguna Seca uh, so I jumped into the uh, Sierra Cosworth uh, I'm currently in a GTB, I think, 308 GTB, but I'm enjoying this little uh, BMW. What BMW is it? Let's just get by him and see if it will. Oh, it's a three-litre CSL. I'm not overly good with my uh, with my Beamers. It's a three-litre CSL. Beautiful-looking car. I'm still not quite sure about the back end on it. It's still a great car. Look at it. Hopefully, I'm not getting anybody's way behind just a beautiful 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 car we've got another one coming up behind who have we got coming out love the nods so it should be the uh, the Lamborghini coming through again let's just um, let him go down the left hand side and we'll pick him up 
I haven't seen the Firebird yet. There we go. There's the Lambo. Beautiful bit of kit. Blue flags flying. Won't worry about that right now. Just enjoying this Lamborghini. So low. There's a 959 gone through. That's actually a 1980s car. So although we're running 1970s. Uh, it's a little bit out of era, but it doesn't matter. So what happened to the Firebird? Well, we've got 1 minute 28. Let's just enjoy this one for a moment. If we can get around this corner without crashing. Eighty four for our GTO. Uh, no, I was I just answered that question. Yeah, old school BMW is nice one. We're in nineteen seventies at the moment. God, listen to that. What a noise. I don't know which engine this has got in the back of it, or it's a, a V12, V8, but it does sound good. Oh, what we got up front? Is that the um, the Alpha? I, I think it is. Oh, we caught up with the Alpha. This is actually a 1967 Alpha that we are chasing. Uh, the Julia, Julia, however you pronounce it lovely little car and Ernie has just been showboating this one around here all evening there we go that one off in the Ferrari oh it's the final lap no look at Ernie enjoying this one just showboating what a big slide he's on the grass back up We're going to get one last showboat on this corner. He comes across, back end out. Oh, he's going round. Oh, smoking the rear wheels up now. Oh, beautiful. And he'll probably do a flurry on the line as he normally does. There we go. <laughs> yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, my word. What a laugh what a laugh what fun oh what fun uh, this evening isn't for everybody but I, I love it when we do this I didn't quite, quite catch up with Greg in the Firebird um, I think we caught up with most people uh, so I hope you guys are enjoying this one I know it's not for everybody uh, but Ernie wow Kudos, my friend. That was some cool sliding in that uh, that Julia. Really nice. Okay, so it's not about where we finish. It's all about the running. Right. Okay. Um, we could get a little bit serious now. Um, I've been enjoying the cars quite a bit. Um, I'm going to go no chicane on this one um, purely because of the type of cars that are going to be running. Um, but I'm hoping that there is three of us that are going to come out in something a bit special. Um, let's have a look and have, have a look see. I wasn't going to do another Friday special before Christmas, uh, but this is the main reason why I was asked to do this one. Um, so we're 1960s. So um, Ernie, you can keep your same car if you want. Um, 
now grab whatever you want 1960s see i mean you've got that that beautiful honda if you want you can take an ad aston martin db5 out if you want you've got the uh the 66 gt40 shelby cobra yes yeah, some real classics of the age here the e-type jaguar um it's just so many cars to choose from but for me it has to be tonight and for the first time i have ever driven this car it has not turned a wheel i have never ever taken it out hi orbalator this is a first. Nine, 600. Oh, and 91 miles on this car. And I'm not going to do it in those tyres. I'm going to throw it off the road in those tyres. Um, car settings. I don't even think I've got them. I'm going to need to go and buy them. Um, and I can't buy them. I know I can't buy the tyres without coming out the room. Um... Can I? Oh no! I've killed the room. Sorry guys. Uh, I will be back in a moment. Don't go away. Don't go away. Don't. I need to, I just need to get some tyres for this car. Um, as I said, I've never ever driven this car before. It's brand new. Um, and I think there might be three of these coming. Um, come on. Just bear with me a second. Yeah, and I killed the room. I've I've need I need to get some tires for this car. Um, bear with me a second. Um, select the car. Ooh, I didn't know you could do that. Um, let me just dive into the tuning shop, and um, let me just grab these. Uh, I'll go for racing softs. Just grab those. And then we'll get this room set up really quick again. Um, so all you had to do was deselect the car, then you can buy it in lobby. Hmm. Okay, learning all the time. Load settings. Uh, we'll come down to um, Goodwood 1980s. I've then got a few little bits to change. So we'll go um, practice and endurance race, 10 minutes. Duh, 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 duh. Um, so BOP is off, boost is off, is da, da, da. take that up to 10, uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's all fine, I want, I'm going to take all the limits off so you guys can run exactly what you want to run, uh, as you can see very often we do actually run limits, so I'm going to keep those saved, uh, we're going to go all tyres because some of you want to be showboating, um, Engine swap is unrestricted. Tuning parts is unrestricted. Da, 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 da. I think we're good with all of that little lot. Um, Orbalator, did you see it falls the recent took all the money achieved with a cheat off everybody? Laugh out loud. At least Polly didn't do it. Not only did they take all the money, they took all the experience points off as well. They took everything back. Everything back. Okay, so uh, car settings. I'm gonna go racing soft in this one. Yeah, so this is basically the. Um, look! Ah! Oh. Listen to the sound of it. Oh, I've got the wrong track. I've got the wrong track. I've got the wrong track. Got the wrong track. Um. We should be at Monza. I've got it set up for um for later on for the um for the minis. Let me just see if I can get this track changed. Uh, Monza, Monza, Monza. Although I think somebody suggested a a different track. For um, the minis, so we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I missed the track change. Monza, Monza, Monza. There we are. 
no chicane. Okay, so let me change it this time. Oh, messing everybody around as usual. Hey, Faz. Welcome this evening, my friend. I hope that you are well. We're just doing one of our crazy era evenings. We're on to the 1960s. And I think three of us at least have got the 330 P4. Uh, oh, we've got some RA 272s coming out. Yes. Looks like a rather smart Camaro. Oh, we've got the Ford Mark IV as well. We've got some cars that I was really hoping were going to come out or coming out. Oh, this is wicked. This is brilliant. There's another, there's a GT40 come out too. And the XJ13. Oh, wicked. Oh, come on. What are the other guys going to come out with? No worries, RAF. Thanks ever so much. And XJK, thank you ever so much for coming in and racing with us. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, don't stay away. Come back again. Oh, we got a DB5 in. Somebody's made my day. Galatical, you've made my day with a DB5. I need to get out and track with this Ferrari. Oh, just some... I'm going to go... Oh, we got a Corvette for Silo. What's the sim guy going in? And then I'm going out on track. Because I want to get some running time in this car. I've not driven this Ferrari yet. I thought there were going to be two or three of us. Uh, uh, where's RL gone? I think RL had a uh, had one of these. Uh, what's the same guy in? Oh, loads of people in the room now. Hey, the same guy's in a VW. Oh, that's going to be slow. That's going to be so slow. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love it. I love it. I don't care. I love it. Oh, oh I'm just, I've got to get out on track. I'm going out on track. I can't wait anymore. I can't wait anymore. Oh, just listen to that sound. I forgot to turn the chicane off. Oh, listen to that noise. Stay out of the gravel. Let's just go inside it and see what it sounds like inside. Oh, I'm going to throw it off the track now and switch into that one. God, how on earth are you supposed to see the apex with those two monstrous wheel arches? Look at it dip under braking. That nose actually absolutely hits the ground. Yay, Matt Mikey. He's out in one, two. First time I've driven this on at all. I kept it for tonight. It was bought for tonight. 20 million credits kept for tonight. And oh, it was so worth it.
just that noise is just amazing. I'm miles away from anybody at the moment, but just enjoying this car. Just enjoying this car. What have we got up on the inside? It's Mad Mikey and his. Let's see if we can just follow him without throwing it off the track. Only four of these, I think, were ever made in real life. Only f somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was only four of these were ever made. Oh, and then we've got the uh, Aston Martin DB5 and that little beetle up ahead. Look at that. Synonymous with Aston Martin, uh, synonymous with James Bond, of course. James Bond made that Aston Martin world famous. And in fact, he's got the uh, James Bond number plate on. BMT 216A. Probably one of the most famous number plates around married to a beautiful car and then we've got the sim guy in the uh, VW Beetle I'm not quite sure about that exhaust off the back that <laughs> racing exhaust um, so uh, he's obviously not out to win this one he's just out to enjoy himself in fact he's going to have some beautiful cars coming by him so probably one of the best choices on the uh, on the whole of the circuit i think that vw because he's got a front row seat to all of the cars going by that is an inspired choice my friend look at that it's gorgeous that car Dubbing day, that's what this is all about. It's it's just getting out and enjoying these cars in the ways that we don't. You know, Grand Turismo, a big part of Grand Turismo is collecting cars. And a lot of them, they just sit in the garage, they never get used. Just this is all about just getting out in your favourite cars and enjoying them. It looks like the Corvette in the gravel there. And just having some fun. Right, we've got a whole gaggle of cars just halfway around the track. Let's see if we can um, put this Ferrari through its paces, catch up with those guys. Let's see how good I am at driving this beast. Oh, obviously not very, because I've just put it on the gravel. Oh yeah, no, 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 don't, don't bend it. Baz is streaming from the Honda. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. It's got, it's got to happen. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. It's got to be done. So let's go and spectate and see what people have got. So uh, we already saw Mad Mikey in that beautiful, beautiful Ferrari. Uh, M1 racing out in that Ford GT. beautiful sky blue and red livery another icon of the age I think that one went up against the Ferraris at Le Mans didn't it I think um, brilliant car oh is, is that um, the Chaparral or later in the Chaparral I think anyway we've got uh, G-Dad in the Honda we got a few Hondas in this one uh, in fact, we very often do a one-make Honda race uh, at Brands Hatch. We've done that a few times on the channel. Uh, that's another one I want to do in the new year because that car should be coming up in the Legends. January, February time, it's due out. Uh, if we can all get that, then we can have a wicked 
evening of just running that car on the Grand Prix tracks. Really want to do that one. Really want to do that. So he's chasing down Silo in the... Is that a Stingray? I think. Yeah, Ford's uh, 123 at 66 Le Mans. Yeah, wicked. Good times, good times. RL 250 out in the other Ferrari. I told you there was going to be three of us running. So we've got three of us in that one now. So that would be great. And we've got Ernie Ball in... I don't know what that is. I don't... Is that... Oh, it's an Alpine, I think. I think that's an Alpine. Well, we got our three cars all together. <laughs> oh, this is what I love about this Friday nonsense. The sim guy with the perfect car with all these cars going around. Uh, G White in the Corvette. Bass in a Honda as well. Is that the Lotus colours? I might be wrong. I do like the green and yellow. It looks really nice. I think we've got a Jaguar behind. Is that Shumi and a Jaguar? I'm not sure. We'll catch up with him in just a moment. Oh, look at that beautiful act of the sunshine. Again, people have been asking for the op yeah the single open seater cars. Probably looking forward to running that one in the new year when we can get enough of them. Cushti will almost definitely be out with us for that as well, which would be great. I think that's the Ford, the other Ford. Um, love the nods in that one. Looks a little bit um, rearranged at the front, shall we say. Another beautiful, beautiful car. It's lovely to see these, these old classics running. Mars Lemon in a Camaro? Yeah. Big old American muscle car, that one. In a very fiery uh, livery there. Being chased down by the um, Ferrari. Somehow I think the Ferrari is going to eat that one up rather quickly. And still you can hear the Ferrari behind the low whoa Mars Lemon gets that wrong oh big save RL had to back out of that one big time we really don't want to rearrange the front ends of our Ferraris they cost enough money Dubbing Dave catch you again very soon my friend thanks for popping in oh we got four now we've got uh, Shumi I think running in the I'm sure that's a Jaguar might be wrong, but I'm sure it's a Jaguar. A uh, Mad Mikey in the... I don't know what that is. I'm getting caught out. Not sure what that one is, we'll see. The Aston Martin in the mix there too. And the Sim Guy trundling around. Oh, G White is out in something strange too. I don't know what that is. Uh, so I think he's out to, uh, probably to have a race with the sim guy and uh, watch the rest of us um, running by. And I think that those are your runners for this one. So we're coming up for 22.11. Um, so I'm just going to run this for another sort of five minutes um, and then we'll get out on track and have a little bit of a race. Um, so let me... Let me go to track. Oh. So uh, about quarter two, about four minutes, we'll set this one off. And again, it's not a race. We're just out enjoying ourselves and enjoying these wicked, 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 wicked cars. And I mean wicked in a good way. It doesn't help if you're going into a corner, Mitchell, and you push the clutch instead of the brake. That is not going to stop the car. It looks like even the brakes are not stopping the car. Oh, 
ball, if you get that on the curbs, it just sucks it in. I told you these two would pick the best cars. They're going to have all these beautiful, iconic cars blasting by them. And they've got a front row seat. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Orbalator, sorry, totally have a power, but it's a 1970s car, so... I don't care. So long as you're having fun, I really don't care. Really, really don't care, my friend. So long as you're enjoying your car, that's all it's about. I'll have to watch out for which car it is. This Ferrari is amazing. I was saying Enzo in the 1970s and 80s, the cars were really hard to drive. This one's easy. Treat it with a little bit of respect. And it's beautiful. Except if you get caught up on that green stuff, the Astro. Must stay off, learn to stay off of that. Whoa! It's called the 2J. Okay, I'll have to uh, have to have a look. Uh, you're gonna have to come blasting past me, mate. There goes M1. Okay, one minute, and we're gonna start the race. Seems strange not doing the chicane. Seji, hello, my friend. Oh, Orbalator. Oh, it's the, the Chaparral thingy. Yeah, it's quick. Very quick, that car. Right, here we go. This is a rematch of the 66. Ford versus Ferrari. For what it's worth, I'd have been rooting for the Ford, but I'm in a Ferrari, so I'm all a bit upside down and backwards. Oh, is a Ferrari going to get a run on the Ford? No, not quite. Sun glinting off the back of that Ford. It's got legs on me down here. Last of the late breakers, getting up the inside. Oh, Ferrari gets it done. Enzo goes mad. Henry Ford is jumping up and down in his chair going absolutely bonkers. What is my driver playing at? Oh no, Enzo is going crazy. His driver's just thrown it off too and the Ferrari goes and the, the, the Ford goes through. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. <laughs> Enzo and Henry Ford are probably going completely mental right now. Enzo's on the phone, he's giving me the hurry up. He's told me either I get on it or he's going to put the dog in the car because the dog can drive out. He's probably be right. I'm over the time for the race. But. This is Ford versus Ferrari here at the moment. 
Although, the actual race should be fun because it's going to be Ford versus Ferrari in it. How many Fords have we got running? I think we've got two or three Fords and we've got three Ferraris. So there could be a bit of a Ferrari Ford thing going on here, you know. Let's get into it. Let's get into it and see what happens. So guys, this is all about the Fords and the Ferraris and making sure that we negotiate the slower cars. So what have we got? Oh, and we've got the Hondas in there as well. We've got two Hondas, some Ferraris, some Fords. Oh, this one's going to be such fun. Good luck, everybody. Only ball got Renault. Oh, it's a Renault, is it? I thought it was an Alpine. Just got to show what I know. Oh, I've got to concentrate now. Oh. Uh, RL 250's done we already, but then he got caught up behind the slow cars. Oh, I'm on the back of M1 already. Wow, all the way to go through like a rocket ship. Shumi's flying the flag for Jaguar. So Jaguar's in this mix too. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. I just got into the back of M1 a little bit there under braking. Mad Mikey goes through in... I'm not quite sure what that is. <laughs> I can't remember. I need to get on the back of that Ford. I don't know about the guys behind, but at the moment... Oh, I'm on that green stuff again. At the moment, it's Ford 1, Ferrari 0. We need to catch up with the Ford again. How are the Ferraris doing behind? Oh, M1M's gone a bit wide, I've gone a bit wide, everybody's gone a bit wide. Yes, RL 250's going through. Two Ferraris, one Ford. Oh, RL gets caught up behind the Jaguar. Mad Mikey to come back in to join the fray. I've got Slipstream on RL. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I broke a little bit too late there. That's what you call the teammate love tap. Oh, I've been that one. Oh, the slipstream was mahoosive. Caught me out. I think Frenzo's going to fire me when I get back to the uh, to the pits. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I've got to break a lot earlier than you think in these cars. Oh, if anybody's got a cool 20 million going free, all the latest after it to buy a Ferrari. You could do worse, my friend. <laughs> but it's an awful lot of money.
some of those guys up front are really pushing on and in fact they're pushing on so nicely I'm gonna do my usual I am gonna do my usual let's just go have a nose at some of these guys running Uh, just running with Orbalator right now with that immensely mad, mad car sliding around all over the place. Stonkingly fast. But let's get into some of the action. So we've got Mad Mikey being chased down by M1 Racing. And then behind, I mean, we've got a, a real old gaggle of cars going on down here. So just going past the Aston Martin and the VW. So we're on board with Faz at the moment. Mad Mikey's dived into the pits. So we're on board with Faz in this beautiful Honda. As I said, I'm hoping to do some um, one mate races in this particular Honda in the new year. We'll pick some Grand Prix tracks and we'll just a whole evening of running this particular car. Mad Mikey drifted into the pits. I oh, wish I'd seen that. A little bit further up, there's G down again and another one of these Hondas just getting it on the grass. That's going to go around. Oh, 360, and he's kept it going. I think Faz is going to catch up with him pretty quickly. He's not far behind now. And we got Shumi following Ernie Ball, following Love the Nazi, who's just put it off the track. Oh, what a shame. In front we got uh, M1 Racing and then RL250 just up ahead. So I think here we got uh, well we got Jaguar against the Renault, I believe Ernie said that was, against the Ford and then the Ferrari out in front. So RL250 is flying the flag. Oh M1's just spun it. Oh that's gonna give it to Ferrari. Shumi still having a battle with Ernie Ball now. I think he's got the legs on Ernie Ball down here. More superior power plus the slipstream. Oh, he's put it on the grass to get by. He managed to get that done, but uh, Ernie Ball's coming back down the inside. Shumi just hanging out around the outside there, but Ernie Ball's got a little bit more traction off the corner. Shumi tucks in behind. He's going for the inside line. The superior power of that car. Oh, it is an Alpine. Going around the Alpine there. Wow. Alto just ran a 130.4 on Brands Hatch GP using the Aston Martin. Very, very, very nice. Well done, my friend. So we're just running on board with Ernie Ball at the moment. This is this little gaggle of cars at the moment, but there's another gaggle of cars going on up here, look. Um, if I just come back a bit, oh, I can't find them. Where are they? This one here. Ah, here we go. This is the slow coaches. So we've got uh, Galatico in the Aston Martin DB5. Uh, G White in the car in front. It seems such a sedate pace these cars coming around here so slow compared to the other cars that are hooning around Aston Martin in the uh, British Racing Green I apologise for the dog barking guys uh, something going on out there I think probably the cat's having a fight or something as so you've got these two cars having a go at see how slow it is over the line We're fabulous to watch those so a little bit further back We've got a three-way battle here with Shumi, Mad Mike and Ernie Ball. This one is still going on. 
Ernie Ball just uh, picking up the rear of this one. And then we've got Mad Mikey chasing down Shumi in that Jaguar. Blue flags being waved now for the slower cars. Just dropping back through, we've got G Dad in the Honda, still running quite nicely. Love the nods in the other Ferrari. Oh no, is he is it a Ferrari or a Ford? He's in a Ford. He's in a Ford. Get it right, Mitchell. Running nicely. Fire a half second penalty, unfortunately. M1 chasing him down really, really quickly, just in the back of the picture there. To M1 still going strong. And then we've got uh, Faz in a beautiful Honda. Really nice livery on that one. Seji, we haven't seen much of Seji running. He's on a Mustang. Looks like that Mustang's had a bit of work done on it. Oh, he's in the gravel in that GT350. Flames down the side. That's a beautiful car too, isn't it? That 350. I've got one of them. Should run that a little bit more often. I can't remember the last time I took that one out. We've got G-Dad chasing down the Mustang at the moment. <laughs> All later. You're about 20 laps ahead of everybody else, I think. <laughs> We've got some yellow flags. Or G Dad, he's uh, chasing down. we got the Sim guy doing a move on the Jaguar. No, surely not. I think somebody might be sandbagging. Somebody's definitely sandbagging there. <laughs> oh, my word. So, well, we got up the front, we got Shumi. We're on final lap, just coming across the line in a flurry. RL 250 going through. The sim guy probably got about 20 more laps to do. Uh, Love the nods going across the line too. Mad Mikey and Seji together. Ernie Ball just in the background. Galatico and G White coming. Everybody's coming across the line together. Oh, look at this. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing, guys. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and sort this dog out in a minute, but that was was superb. Um, right, just give me a moment because we're going to do one more. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to go and sort this dog out. Uh, so I'm going to edit the settings. Uh, it's just... I'm going to come right out of this one. Coda! Shh. Uh, because what I want to do is pick up the settings for um, Goodwood. I'm going to load those. Um, I think that we are good. We're going to do seven laps. And this one is going to be in the little mini, which should be set up. So I'm going to create the room. I hope you enjoy this, guys. If you are, please throw some thumbs ups. Uh, the view account is a little bit down on normal, but um, that's not unexpected um considering that we are doing uh very very unusual things uh tonight all a bit different uh, i'm going to go manufacturer we're going to come down to um is it in the as mini or is it in as bmw i don't know what it's in as um actually i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm never going to find it that way let's just uh, leave them in date order uh yeah We'll come down to 1960s. I think Orbelator enjoyed that one. I enjoyed that. That was that was super fun. Really was fun. Uh, and I know I dropped out of it halfway through, uh, but I just wanted to watch those cars running. Um, right. Okay. So I've got my little blue one is my standard one. That is the car that you were looking for, my friends. Uh, I need to change the tyres um, actually tell you what I'm going to do um, I might have a, a room setting change from a suggestion that we had previously uh, usable tyres we're going to go um, comfort comfort soft tyres only on this one hopefully we've all got them ah
So hopefully I'll be able to change the tyres in a moment. We're going to go comfort soft tyres, guys. Okay, I've still got a few guys initialising. Um, once everybody's in, I'll do a room change. Uh, just waiting for Galaticor at the moment. I apologise for Coda barking. I don't quite know what's going on at 11 o'clock at night. I really don't know. Mad Mikey, um, hopefully they should be stock. I know a few people have tuned theirs. If they have tuned, if you've tuned your Mini, if you can just throw it up in the chat that you have tuned uh, so that we know which ones are tuned. And um, they can run away and then the rest. But if you've got a detuned one, as you saw there, I've got two. The green one I have done some stuff to. Uh, the blue one, I believe, is stock. Um, so let's just um, bear with me a second, guys. Let me just change these tyres. Um, so we want to go comfort. Soft was the tyres that everybody liked last time and everybody wanted to do I mean we got BOP is on anyway so the settings for this one uh, race for real auto start is off 16 competitors we're at Goodwood number of laps is seven um, the weather conditions are what they are and then the BOP tuning is prohibited the BOP is on so hopefully it should level the playing field um, regardless of whether people have got uh, tuning etc so it should be a relatively relatively good race this one I'm hoping um, so Coda is quiet and down for the moment so um, I'm just gonna jump on the track and um, We'll give it a little bit of a run. So I don't know how Ernie Ball's car's going to run compared to ours. With any luck, they will all be similar. And after the Ferrari, this is so, so slow. M1 can't get in. Why can't you get in? Ah, okay. Hang on a second. Um, hang on let me just make a few changes then so you've got a wide body the problem is if I have a wide body I have to take the BOP off um, is there a mini in the um in the second hand market at the moment could somebody just check and see if there's a classic mini available um okay it looks like a few people are going to spectate um oh, Rel, thank you ever so much thank you for coming in just a bit of fun tonight just all a little bit different we got a uh, quite a few little minis in here uh, those of you that are spectating, join the room and then you can jump up and down the different cars. Um, I am just going to sort this dog out. I'll be back in just a second. Right, what are you up to? Use time, just go to bed. Sorry about that. 
He's been on the go all day. I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off the BOP because most of us know what we're running. Uh, most of us know that we've got um, detuned cars. So all of the people that have got their cars tuned, if you can just let us know in the um, in the chat so we know which ones are tuned so sorry guys I've just changed the event settings and we'll know which ones are which ones are racing and which ones are racing and which one are just going to run away I think most of us are running stock so this could be quite a good race um, Love the Nords has got a, a, a more modern Mini Cooper uh, that one will disappear uh, I think Ernie Ball has got a tuned. He's going to disappear. G Dad has got a tuned one. Um, probably going to disappear. Um, Ernie Ball, 318 horsepower. Mad Mikey, 64. See the difference between those horsepowers? It's massive. Absolutely massive. Um, if you guys that don't have the Mini Cooper, uh, the next time it comes up, grab one. They're, they're cheap as chips. Um, grab one because we will be doing this. Whenever we do these fun evenings, we nearly always end up doing this particular race. I don't know why everybody seems to like it. Um, it's just a lot of fun. I'm gonna get out on track and uh, we'll probably start this one off probably about quarter past, quarter past something like that. I might have the intake and exhaust on this Mini. Um, if I have, it's not a lot that's done on this. I think my green one is uh, intake and exhaust, which doesn't make an awful lot of difference. Um, I think the green one has got a little bit done. This one, I think I bought stock for this race. Uh, it's one of the things that I did. I've got fast behind me in the Union flag one. I'm going to let him through just so you can see that livery. It's a cool livery that one. Oh, I forgot we've got comfort soft tyres on, haven't we? So you need to be just a little bit careful. Often a firm favourite this one, this race. Right, let's um, let's just park this one and um, let's go have a look and see what um, see some of the deliveries that the guys are running because uh, normally there's some cool cars in here so we've got we've got um, uh, Galactico in the um, Green with the white roof, which is exactly the same as my one up on the shelf here. I don't know if you can see that. That one just there. Got G White coming up behind, flashing his lights away. That's a nice uh, red, yellow and white livery on that car. There we go. Black wheels. Really nice one. 
haven't quite caught up with Sedges yet. Looks like he's got an awesome livery I'm hearing in the chat. Uh, M M1M, another Union flag livery. Nice blacked out car just with the flag, behind the flag. It's nice to see all these different liveries on these cars going around. Faz, that we were just following. Seji! Oh, yes! Yeah, the old um, rusted out one. Really cool, that one. I, I do like that car. A real barn find, that one. Got Love to Nods in the modern Mini. So he's, uh, he's going to be running a little bit uh, uh, out of class, shall we say, on that one. Orbalator in a green and white. G-Dads. Blacked out. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, I think G-Dads is uh, widened and souped up a little bit. So you can hear the exhaust note on that one, just slightly different. And spoiler on the back. So I'm expecting him to run away. Um, Shumi in another um, rust bucket, shall we say. Black roof and a white one. Again, Again, it's just, just a cool livery for this particular car. Running quite well. I love the nods in the modern. Mad Mikey in a green with white stripes. On that particular one. Let's see if we can get a, a close-up view. Goodwood does look gorgeous, doesn't it? It's a beautiful track for this race. Full of nostalgia. There we go. Willow 3. lovely turned out car that one looks beautiful running around and then back to me just my plain blue with my MMR 67 on the back uh, looks like I have got the racing exhaust and probably the racing air filter on that one I think um, so slightly 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 tuned right uh, if we are all ready and we've got quite a few people in the room so we've got Greg White, Shumi, M1M, Faz, me, Seji Galatico, Orbalator, De Sim Guy, Mad Mikey, Love the Noz, G Dad, and Ernie, Ernie Ball. Are you? Is Ernie joining us? Um, I thought Ernie was. Uh, I thought Ernie Ball was going to join us, but it looks not. Asoma Angela, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I rolled 250, I loved it in the 330 people. Well, well worth it. Uh, uh, the engine's not allowed. Guys, sorry, one quick change and then we're going racing. I'm messing you up. One quick change just so Ernie Ball can get in and then we are, as soon as Ernie's in and if all the cars are in, we're going racing straight away. We do a seven lap one. So Ernie Ball is going to fly. He's going to absolutely fly. And he's got a wide body. He's breaking all the rules. He's breaking all the rules. He's breaking all the rules. Um, yeah, what we really like on this one is, is if we can get stock minis uh, to go. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, what I'd love to do is in the new year, we do the Honda RRA272, whatever it is. We do a, an evening of just that one car on the Grand Prix circuit um and then maybe if we get some of the smaller ones like sukuba and uh horse thief mile and a few of the others um we could do a stock mini race uh, where we all go and buy a, a mini um that's in the um used car dealership and uh hopefully it, it will be in there and uh we all just get a stock mini we have an evening of just stock minis on small tracks would that be fun? Give me a thumbs up if you think that would be fun. Uh, but we, should, we should do that. We should do that. Definitely we should do that. 
Okay, so we've got Greg's in, Faz is in, Early Ball's in, I'm in, Sedgy's in, Galactical's in, Orblate is in, Desin Guy's in, Mad Mikey's in, Love the Noz, G Dad, Shumi is in. Uh, so we've got, uh, just waiting for Shumi at the moment. I'm getting thumbs up already. M1's going to buy a stock mini next chance. What I'm tending to do now, or what I'm going to start doing now, I've bought all the cars and I've got some legends to get, but now I've got all of the, the dealership cars, is um, I want to start buying some of these cars that we run regularly as stock. And what I'm going to plan to do is I'm going to plan to put my number plate on so I know that they're the stock rather than the other ones. Um, don't hit me all of the time because I'm really busy at the moment uh, with work and stuff and just sorting stream out and the randomizer. But those of you that are members, if you want a UK style plate for your cars, hit me up and I'll see if I can get one produced for you. Uh, they do look rather nice. Uh, I think that that is everybody in the room. And um, if we uh, go to tracks, so there you go. So you'll be able to see uh, there's my number plate on my car. just change the view to the rear so yeah that's the, the number plate that I've done on my car I might just go with um... okay I'm probably gonna louse it up I'm gonna go with this view right guys we are going to start the race in eight seconds And again, this is all just for fun. There's going to be bumping. There's going to be bashing. It's, it's just fun. Don't worry about it if anybody bumps you and crashes you or anything like that. It's not about winning. It's all about just taking part. And the really cool thing, g Dad is right at the back. <laughs> all right, remember, some of those cars are going to come through a bit quicker than others. I'm not quite sure what my car is doing. It's bouncing around all over the place. Oh, what a place to start me right on the corner. Looks like Ernie's going to let everybody through. I'm going to try and catch up with these guys up front. Probably a bit easier said than done. Just go with this view for the moment, try and catch them. Uh, what I should have probably done is started everybody a bit closer, or maybe my car is just too slow. Look, I'm like going flat out, and these guys are just waltzing past. Although there are one or two corners on here that you've got to be careful on, this being one of them. Otherwise, you wind up like uh, all later on the grass. Oh, he's coming back on. There he goes. Oh, Matt Mikey. Whoa. Oh, just manages to go around. How on earth did you get around through there without crashing, my friend? That was awesome. Wicked bit of driving. Fabulous. Uh, so you've got Ernie Ball. He's just going to have fun. Look, he's going to blitz by. And then you'll probably find all the way through it's going to slow down, speed up, slow down, speed up, just having fun. And that's what tonight's all about. It is just about having fun. Here we go, another one blasting through. G Dad flying through as well. Of course, they've got to watch out for their passes because they're coming through so much quicker than the rest of us. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, that's a bit of a slide through there. Crikey, I seem so much slower than everybody else. causing a bottleneck through there because I hit the barrier. I think I need to get on the back of the sim guy and try and get a bit of a um, a bit of a tow, but no, he's too quick. I need Galatico to give me a bump, I think. 
<laughs> Just keep the power down. You can certainly see the difference between those cars that have been tuned and those ones that don't. Big difference. This is why if we can do it with purely stock cars, then uh, that would be so much, so much better. Um, and then, of course, if we are doing that, then we can set the horsepower and all the different settings and tie it, tie it down a little bit. Um, set the BOP on and things. Unfortunately, I wanted to, well, not unfortunately, uh, I wanted to get some of the other guys running and they've got tuned cars. So I've had to relax the, um, the settings a little bit. Uh, but if we do a, a one make night of the minis all stock, then it will be tightened down. Uh, but again, I'll do that on a, a week when the mini is available for sale. And normally it's not very cheap, not very expensive. So hopefully people will be able to do it. Go on, give me a bump. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. A bit of bump drafting to help us catch up. All right now you should slipstream me. Hey, 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 gone into there a bit too quick now. Off on the grass, off on the tarmac. How are we doing up the front? I was expecting Love to Nods to have come round and lapped us by now in the new Mini. Oh, Blades has caught up me as well. He's got a quick old car, that one. I'm on the grass. Yay, thank you. Another bump. I think all three of us need to work together. Galaticor needs to bump all Blades, bump me. M1 in a souped up one, he's going a little bit slower. You can hear the different engine or the exhaust note on that car. I do want to suit one of these up, I must admit. Uh, properly, do it all wide and uh, everything. Not necessarily dropping an engine in, I'm not a great fan of engine swaps if I'm honest. I know a lot of people are into it, it's not my thing personally. Wow, Orbalator, you have got a good turn of speed in that car, my friend. Or are you being bumped by M1? Maybe M1's bump drafting you. Yeah, he is. That's where the speed's coming from. Only trouble is then you've got to lose the speed through this section here. Otherwise, like me, you end up going through there two sideways. Then you're in the grass. There's a good old little battle going on behind me. So lap three or seven, we're in ninth at the moment. Uh, you can see how spread out the cars are in front. And we've got this little gaggle at the back here of what I suspect. Oh, it's a big old shunt. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you, whoever did that. That was a big old shunt, that one. That really got me moving. Um, so somebody here with one of the souped up ones is just enjoying just getting all our slow ones moving. <laughs> oh, I've got Galactical behind me, but we seem to have lost... Um, yeah, we just seem to be a bit spread out. Look at this mini tearing down the outside now. Whoa! I went through that a bit too quick. Oi, 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 I'll go into the back of Galactical, sorry. Oh, I just about managed to get that slowed down. That's a nice looking mini behind. Just trying to slipstream Galactical now.
Mad Mikey going through. Oh, Blades is back in the mix, right behind us. Oh, those two cars just slipstreaming each other. Mad Mikey just trying to keep it under control. Can I get on the back of these two without throwing it off around this corner? Whoa, ho, ho. massive, massive boost from all blades in there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's going to get me up on the back of these two if I can hold it through this corner. But I've now got way too much speed. It's going to give me another bump. That will put me on the back of my Mikey. If I can get on the back of my Mikey, I can give him a bump into Gunnetical. Oh, more bumping. One. This is like a game of ping pong. No, not ping pong, not skittles. Oh, I don't know. Boom, boom. A little bit too near that corner for a bump. <laughs> bump draft. So I tried to just not bump draft those two guys behind me. <laughs> that put me a bit out of control through there. <laughs> oh, dear. you got to love it. I got the bump just a little bit too near the corner. <laughs> yeah, now it's a good one for a bump. See if we can get on the back of Galacticore again. All right, no more bumps, no more bumps. We're getting into the corner. Nearly. Right, hopefully those guys behind can now stream, uh, slipstream, and we can get on the back of Galacticor. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. It's slow, but it's a laugh. It's fun. <laughs> there we go. So if we can get around this corner relatively close together. Whoa. Here we go again. Oh, right on the corner again. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, Blake just gone off on the grass. So he's going to need M1 to help him now to catch us up again. Let's see if I can just stay behind Galaticor. I don't think I can, he's running away. Just got just over one lap to go. It's all a bit of fun. You can just imagine what this is going to be like when we've all got minis of the same calibre. Oh, we got yellow flags up. Yeah, 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 I'm off on the grass again. Couldn't quite get that slowed down. Some sort of incident going on up ahead here, I think. Hopefully I've got slipstream this time. Looks like M1 is still pushing us on. <laughs> Here we go again. I tell you what, if any of you didn't know how bump drafting works, now you know. Yeah, yeah. All out of control through there. Didn't quite manage to get that. Oh, just kept it off the grass. 
M1 still at the back there. Still pushing. Operator's oh, got a good old turn of speed. In that many. Oh! Oh! oh. Any balls parked up? Oh, ran out of time. <laughs> ran out of time. Oh, there we go. There we go. A bit of fun tonight, guys. Just a little bit of fun. Woo. I'm surprised my little rust bucket made it to the end, said you. Not, not at all of a problem. Um, yeah, fun, fun, fun. Just a lot of fun this evening. That's really what tonight's all about. It's it's just about bringing out the cars from these eras that you like and just just a bit of fun. You know, you've got some quick cars, you've got some slow cars. Finished up with uh, the minis and some ideas for next year. Uh, it's a break from all of the hard, serious racing that we all do in this game. Uh, we collect these cars... We've had all sorts. We've had Ferraris, we've had Fast Fords, we've had uh, Alphas, uh, we've had some American muscle cars, uh, we've had the little VW Beetle out and whatever the little grey one was, I don't even know. And just a whole mix of cars tonight. Enjoying them, running them without any sort of care about having to win on fastest laps or anything like that. Just an awful, awful lot of fun. Love the noise. Don't think my car is stock. <laughs> Not a problem. But I think that you were um, you were in the new 05 Mini, which is a lot, lot faster than the uh, the 65 Mini. Uh, but it's a bit of a taster for what we can do in the new year when we can all get a stock Mini and I can set the BOP and stuff like that and we haven't got engine swaps and wide bodies and... Um, fast exhaust and all sorts of other bits and pieces. Um, Matt Mikey, if you can, always buy two or maybe three cars if you can afford. One to stay stock with removable parts and the other with engine swap and wide body. Fantastic advice. Fantastic advice. Really good advice. Uh, would anyone do stock MX-5 races? Yes. Absolutely. Uh, I was working on the randomizer and one of the races that has been a daily race on, a, on either the B or the C has been the Mazdas around Tsukuba, I think. So, yeah, that is definitely one that I would consider doing. Um, the Mazda that we are talking about, uh, you probably all know, if I can just find it in here very, very quickly. So that we are all talking about the same one. Um, we've got this one here, uh, is the one I think that we're talking about. Uh, or you've also got the Roadster Touring Car. So, depending on what people have got, uh, we could go with either of those two. Um, and I know we're talking Masters again. So, are you, um... Yeah, so the MX-5s. Are we talking about the Roadster uh, NRA, the Roadster S, or the Roadster Touring Car? I'm assuming that's what we're talking about, the, the MX-5. Yeah, I pretty sh I, I don't know whether mine are stock or not. Uh, they might dump. Um, um, but yeah, there's all sorts of different cars that we can we can pick and choose in here. Uh, lots and so long as everybody's got the car, I'm happy to do a lot more single make uh, running. Uh, as you can see, I've got loads and loads and loads of cars, but I'm happy to do a lot more. Um, so the one that we're talking about is uh, is this one here. Um, yeah, let's just come out of the race for a moment.
Ernie Bull, thank you ever so much, my friend. Thank you ever so much. Um, M1, basically, with regards to the events, normally I will publish them on the Discord uh, maybe two, three weeks ahead, um, just so that people can then watch out for the cars that are coming up. And all the <laughs> oh, belated, gosh, I laughed all the way around that last race. Yeah, I normally do. I'm normally laughing my head off around these. these. Um, yeah, I put them up in the Discord um, as early as I can so that people can both get the cars if when if and when they're available um and also they can then you know arrange for that friday to be able to run so i think that's the one that we're talking about doing and um i think that my particular car for instance is pretty stock i mean i've got the sports hard which is what it came with and then everything in here transmission's normal nitrous everything's normal 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 i have got a sports braking system but that looks like that's the basic one so everything normal 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 uh, so that that's one that uh, that we can keep and again not an expensive car um but i'm up for that definitely up for that it's a great car around some of the smaller tracks it really is so keep that one in the back of your mind and uh i'm going to take a short break now anyway guys and then i'm probably going to maybe do one or two daily seeds i'm going to try uh and see how we go um uh, but i do need to pay a visit to the little boys room uh, but i just wanted to say thank you ever so much for joining me this evening i hope you've enjoyed it it's a bit of fun um nothing serious just getting out there hooning around in our favorite cars finished up with that mini race at the end which was really good fun uh we are heading into christmas period um family and other bits and pieces going on so I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to be streaming over the next couple of weeks. I think next week could be fairly normal towards the end of the week. Things might change. And I've got one or two things that are booked. Um, I think Tuesday night I'm going to be out. So I probably won't be streaming Tuesday and Friday. I think I'm out as well. So uh, I forgive me if I am not around streaming every single night. Um, but normal service will be renewed in the new year. I promise you um so hopefully i'll see you before christmas if i don't uh and i shouldn't use the word christmas because we've got people of all faiths and religions from all around the world um uh, that tune in um but over the holiday period shall we say i hope that you have a very fun relaxing and a great time and i will probably be doing a video next week just thanking everybody for all your help this year in getting this channel to where we've got i couldn't have done it without all of you uh, but that is going to be the last of the Friday specials until the new year when we will have a lot more. So watch this space. Anyway, thank you ever so much. Um, please smack that like button on the way out. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And above all else, stay well, stay safe. And I'll see you either on another stream or in just a few minutes. See you then.
Okay. Here we go. So about 45 minutes later than I expected, um, but had an awesome time. Uh, we lost a bit of the SR last night. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I don't know why I lost some SR on that particular run. Um, but we'll change the car to the car that we have been running. Let's just do last used. Uh, la, 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 that one there. We've got 14 minutes, so we'll enter into the race. We'll grab a qualifier. Mad Mikey, yes, yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you too. Um, I'm hoping to be streaming. Um, I just put it up there, obviously, that I might not, just in case, because uh, all sorts going on over the Christmas New Year period. Uh, oh, I'm hoping we're not going to be fighting PRM again tonight. I really do. Oh, so much quicker than what we've just been running. Right. You ran the Genesis tonight. Yep. Um... I can understand that. Okay, so um you want seven and ten. Twenty-four, twenty-six, max that one out, max that one out. Uh, yeah, fighting PRM, of course, of course, of course, of course. Yes, it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, good thinking. Right, that's the car set up. Uh, let's just make sure that I have got the, yeah, I'm sure the ghost is on. Let's just get into this one. It's a rubbish place to actually start you running, you know. Which is straight into the barrier if you're not on it. Yeah, the Genesis seems to be coming up a lot as well as the Master. I'd like to see a few more cars. Yeah. It's just if you look at the, the main boards, it's all the same car. There's absolutely no point in fighting it. There really isn't. Mad Mikey been looking back through some of the streams. Some of them are quite, I won't say boring, but they're, they're like normal running races. Uh, but occasionally you'll see some of them. I I get silly on some. I um, do some commentary on others and mix it up a bit at times. Uh, but we do have some fun on here. And I've got lots and lots and lots of ideas set up for the new year as well. Got to stay out that barrier. That cost me bad yesterday in one of the races. Could have had a win, but we caught the barrier and ran down the grass. That wasn't clever. What's this cyst on the bottom right? Um... Is that... Have I got an assist on? Manual transmission, assist preset selection custom. Uh, traction control, ABS, auto drive, driving line, braking indicator. Oh, I've got ASM is on. Let's just take that off. Well spotted. 
That shouldn't have been on. I know why it was on. Because I was trying to do the um, the GT3 uh, Bathurst run. Now, did I have that on last night? Oh, I could have done. So it'll be interesting to see what happens tonight now with that turned off. I'm running with one traction control at the moment. I will lose that one traction control at some point. Oh, the rally ones I hate. I put them down to normal to do them. I can't do them on hard. Yeah, I know what you mean, my friend. I know what you mean. Yeah, and when I'm going with one traction control. Pretty sure I've got one dialed in. Yeah, one dialed in. Feeling just a little bit more tired than I did last night. Last night was a really late one and it was an early start this morning and I'm busy down the office so uh, not quite sure uh, whether it would be as good as last night but we shall see. I need to break a little bit later for that one. Oh, I had this assist on last night. Oh, interesting. Be interesting to see what difference that makes tonight. We got it off now. Uh, there's about a 25 second delay so we'll adjust do you want to know your position i'm happy for you to push through all the information like you were last night it'd be awesome all that info about tires and fuel and everything last night and how we were doing in the race um whether we were in first second third whatever was brilliant I found that enormously useful last night it's like having a uh, pit wall crew feeding information through I really wish in some respects they would introduce that into Gran Turismo knowing what tyres other people are on and how many pit stops they've done and all that malarkey That's weird, I tapped that wall last night, I wasn't getting a penalty, I tap it tonight, I am. Very strange. My first daily race of the evening is never my best, so uh, 
we'll see how the first one goes. Although last night, my first daily race was awful from the time I messed it up. I should also point out, guys, that at this stage in the proceedings, I'm not watching the chat quite as much as I was at, earlier on uh, because I needed to concentrate a lot more doing what I'm doing here now. So I apologise if I miss things. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, I've got that wrong. Oh. That ASM is making just a little bit of a difference. Yes, mediums and softs. I like getting those tire that tire change out of the way. Oblator, me be quiet. No, me. I'll, I'll be quiet. I'll be a lot more quieter than normal. is just a little bit more twitchy than last night with that assist off we'll see how it how we go in the first race uh, if it helps I'll put it back on but at the moment I don't normally run with it So obviously the least number of assists that you can run the better and the more control you are of the car. Asking for favour gates, my Delivery man livery. Paz, where do we find... The, oh, the delivery is... Sorry, the livery. I'll have to find that. Yeah, I've got to work out whether it may be quicker or slower. Magic fast, I'll find that and I'll um, I'll definitely do that a little later. I want to go through the liveries that you guys are sharing at some point and like them. It's uh, not something I've had the chance to do, but I do want to do that. So where we are, we're in the 141s. Now, interestingly, yesterday I was in the 140s, so I'm wondering whether I should put that uh, assist on and just see if it makes any difference. I'm actually going to, if I had it on yesterday, I'm going to whack it on. Um, just to balance it up with what we were doing yesterday. I don't want to change too much. I think you're right. Um, leaving it on is probably a good call, if I'm honest. Make sure everything's all still the same. It is. already seems smoother through that corner you know unless it's just me okay 
so we are looking for uh oh devil man devil man and we got mad mikey's rebel ones although i did run your rebel one of your rebel ones the other day on a car I remember which one it was that i was doing uh beautiful livery really nice so uh turbo tapping lars lisa um demon derek biscor i've raced against biscor before uh liam michael uh, i've raced to back against him before uh, it looks like my friend isn't in here uh it looks like we're all bs drivers um which is interesting um You got a hundred thousand daily ticket. Right, let's see how we go. I'm not doing the weekly challenges at the moment. I'm going to do them next week, depending on what the, um, the daily races are like. For the moment, I'm trying to put my time into this one. Thank you, RL. I felt those front ones were a bit, um, a bit slow, those cars. I felt a bit boxed in there. So it'd be nice if we can get into some clean air. Right, all the way to the end now. It's important to jump that last guy. important overtake out the pits to get that done need to leave him behind now a little bit see if I can build a bit of a gap
I can get a podium, I'll be happy. That would be a big increase from where we were. Okay, then we've got a car in the pit, so I'll just watch the pit exit. Yep, thought so. Looks like somebody forgot about uh, cold tyres coming out the pits. Looks like a bit of a bit of a pile up into that first corner. Got a bit wide through there. dry branch hatch like this. squeal through there that wasn't a good corner I really need to get P1 down to 22 seconds really. But I want to bring it home safe, it's the first run. So I'd rather complete the race than, uh, than uh, cause a problem. Pit stop's done, that's out the way. So we haven't got to worry about that now. Still a long way to go yet.
that's a strange time to go into mediums. Was he the second place runner? Cut that bit too much. That won't help the SR. Not help myself with that penalty now, though. Of course, he probably doesn't realise he's racing me. And whilst I can see the gap, he can't. far away from the car behind we're okay that's all right he won't come through seven got three laps to go Deep tyres are starting to squeal a little bit. That wasn't a good corner.
yeah, he's got uh, fresher tyres than me. So if I can get a first, great. But second is better than binning it right now. P2, oh, sell for that. What do we do? Start sixth, I think. <laughs> I think everyone racing, you've been getting a bit excited with the old capitals. <laughs> oh, oh, shame we didn't get first. Uh, that half second penalty hurt, uh, but he did get a good turn of speed. I think he must have realised I was catching because he, he suddenly speeded up. Um, so I think he was managing that a little bit, uh, but I'll um, I'll take that. Unfortunately, it won't be a clean race, but uh, three positions raised. Uh, we'll take that one. We will take that one. Oof. Well done, Xavier Suarez. Javier Suarez. Wow. Um. Uh, Faz, which car is it for, by the way? Because obviously I need to know which car it's for. The, the Devil Men um, livery. Hi Aid, welcome to the stream. Thanks for checking in. Um. Ah, okay, it's for the, for this car. Okay. Um. Oh, it's Why can I not find it? Okay. 
Go to Fassi's page. I, I don't know how to go to Fassi's page. It's none of them. Um, following. He's a friend. I don't know how to get. I don't know how to get to it then. Yeah, Faz. I, I don't know how to find it, mate. I always seem to have this problem. I, I just. Um. Oh, there we go. But then how do we use it? Oh, there we go. Um, so how do I like it, Faz? Obviously, I've saved it to the collection, but you were talking about liking it. I think the only way to, the only way I knew to like it was in in the, the livery bit, unless I missed a trick. So if I go to um, I like it there. The brain. Okay, not only liked. Uh, unfortunately, everybody that's been following me this week and knows me in that livery, uh, I'm now in a different livery. Um, now, if your livery lets me down, my friend, there'll be trouble. <laughs> um, I jest. I jest. Uh, yeah, tyres and settings. Exactly. Just going there. Thank you for the reminder. Ah, but Faz, if he doesn't get me a first place, it's got to come off the car, mate. I'm sorry. If he doesn't get me first, it's going. Okay, so we should be on the uh, we should be on the mediums, which we are. Yeah, I like the semi-gloss blue ones. I, I need to, um, I need to grab a few of yours. I do love the Red Bull liveries. The only reason I don't run Red Bull, I don't run Red Bull liveries in the daily races, is that always seem to be a pump magnet. Whenever I put a Red Bull livery on, I get smacked all over the place. It's like there's a load of Red Bull haters out there. Ooh.
can't believe I've done over 800 miles in this car just in this daily race and the lobbies this week This livery sport the devil out of me. <laughs> I do that in the race though. I forgot which tyres I was on for a moment. I do need to try and get round that first lap with these medium tyres a little bit quicker, but I'm just a little bit more frightened of these these tyres. to make the corner I wanted to practice that corner one last time it's not gonna happen right so we should be in the medium tires oh we're way back in the middle of the pack there's some pretty quick people in here they're still all BS's Don't know any of these names. Nah. Middle of the pack now. Map Mikey, thank you ever so much for your help, my friend. Have a good night. Thank you for joining me this evening. And I'll see you again very, very soon. I hope. I hope. Sleep well, my friend. <laughs> do what you've been doing carry on doing what you've been doing well that one changes colour that's a cool car the one behind bit of argy bargy going on behind me I think let's not worry about that for now though thank you M1 yep I like the way softs is in caps Not that I would ever get my tyre change wrong. I mean, come on. Well, give me some room, mate.
He's going to get a pit, a pit entry warning, I think. Did I do softs? I hope I did softs. I think he's going to get a three second penalty, the guy behind. Unless I cut the line. I don't think I did. hope I didn't. Please tell me they're softs. Please tell me they're softs. Yeah. Ah!
pancake. Oh, wrong gear. I think the um, the leader was way too far ahead for me. I'm not even thinking about that. If I can go top six in this one, I'll be happy. And that's going to need a few more to pit and or spin. I think. At the moment I'm just concentrating on this lap and the uh, car in front at the moment. Just see if we can toes up a little bit. P4 would be wonderful. Considering the lobby's quicker. An iPod I've raced before, he's quick. I remember the name now. He's trying a bit too hard now. He's calmed down a little bit. to drive the track, not the car in front. It's just starting to slide a little bit.
two laps to run. But we're still only in ninth though. Whoa! Where the hell was he going? Okay, cool. Tires are a bit slippery now. Oh, P3! Get in there! Yes! Thank you, guys. Thank you, M1. Thank you for the... Uh, for Just... For the motivation, for the, the feedback, for the motivation, just for everything. Oh, thank you, Faz. Thank you, RL. Oh, 10 seconds. 10 seconds off, though. Oh, that was that was something else. That was awesome. Oh, I enjoyed that one. I did enjoy that one. That was good. Woo! Uh, where's Pete? Whew. Whew. Wow. That was something else. 
That wasn't without incident. Knackered. I can't believe it's 10 to 1 already. Should we do another one? Should we do one more? What have we done with our DR? Has that lifted it at all? Well, that's bumped it up quite a bit, hasn't it? That's come up uh, a bit. The, the S is back now to full. Um, but that has that's bumped the B up just a tad. Uh, should we do one more? Got a full on day tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eight minutes. Let's do one more. Let's go for one more. Ooh, I love this track. I adore this track. I, so many people hate it. This is one of my favorite tracks. But it does go to show, I mean, I, I, I do this for grinding. Um, it does go to show that if you spend more time practicing other tracks, I could be just as good or, or, or better on the other tracks if I run them more frequently and learn all the ins and outs and stuff. Yeah. Hi David. I didn't realise you were in the in the room. Oh sorry. Sorry for not saying hello earlier. I used to grind in the VGT. I love the BMW VGT. It's my favourite car in the whole of the game. But I guess I ought to get more time in the GR3s. And although um, this race is proving to me I don't need to spin them all the time. No worries, David. Thank you for popping in. I really appreciate it. If you could smack that like button for me, that would be excellent. I really appreciate it. But thank you for the support for popping in. It's very, very, very much appreciated.
Um, you're going to be in a higher lobby or same as just now. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. I like mountain tracks too. I like um, Bathurst. That's uh, a track that I absolutely adore too. Oh. I've just been running that with the wrong settings. I always forget you've got to do this every single race. Okay. Good advice. Right, mediums. Yep, yeah, we're on mediums. Yeah, the um, nothing of the word I want. The temptation to throw it up the inside on tr the first lap and make a few places. You're better off just running that first lap, getting it over the way, get the tyres on, getting clean air and then push. Uh, and that's been sort of my strategy throughout the race to try and uh, just pick up some places. Might not necessarily be the quickest strategy. Obviously some of these are going softs and the mediums. Um, but it's, it's working for me and I like getting the pit stop out of the way early especially after the issues we had yesterday. Yeah, definitely M1. And thank you for helping me to get to that. I it could quite easily jump to the other one, but you were right yesterday in saying, you've got a strategy that works, go with it. And I'm so pleased that you suggested that. Just stick into that yesterday. Absolutely the right thing to do. We've got A Duvet, Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc, I've raced against him. He's quick. Dominguez is quick. Boston's quick. Uh, iPod, obviously, is quick. Ah, uh, Javusia was the one that won it in the last one. Uh, Pete behind me, is, um, he was the one who apologised. He's quite quick. Um, oh, this is a quick lobby. This is a quick, quick, quick lobby. Hmm. Okay. I'm not expecting a podium on this one. Oh, Shumi's in the room. Shumi's in the room. Shumi's in the room. Ah, oh, too late. Uh, good luck, Shumi, if you're listening. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. Ran out of time to do. I'm not very quick at doing the old chatty thing. Especially when I'm streaming. I'm more playing to you guys than the toes, but. Um, oh. That uh, Schwaverius guy in front of me would be a, a good one to follow if I'm honest, but hopefully I'm on racing mediums. Um, yes, I am on mediums. We're all good. Yeah, going to do the best I can. I mean, ninth at the moment, if we can get a six, if we can get top six, I'll be happy. Top five, I'll be ecstatic. Um, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of quick cars in here. A lot of quick cars. Baz, just just send out those those devil vibes for me, can you? Just just keep those vibes going out. If they mess with me, they're going to be in trouble. Okay, here we go. God, it's a lot of cars in front of me this time. Oh, 
Oh, Xavier jumped out of the way. What's all that about? I was nowhere near him, was I? Oh, come on, guys. Boston, I'm sorry for getting into the back of you. I got um, caught from behind. Yeah, one only thing I could do about that was all just racing incident, I think. Bent my car. Sorry, Faz, I've done your paintwork in, mate. Okay, racing softs on, here we go. Cold tyres, cold tyres. easy for a few turns got away down in 13 I hope there's a load of people that didn't pit Thank you, David.
this guy in front is just a little bit too quick for me. only in tenth at the moment. When did, where did we start? We started quite low though, didn't we? Eight. Thank you. Thank you. This TV's a pain, it just came up, I'm going to turn off. So I just had to flick the switch on the TV. Somebody just said something to me, didn't they, in the chat? What did they say? Just got the TV going off warning just as that came up. Hope I haven't done something to upset someone.
Oh, Stumi's behind me. David spoke. Where's David in here too? Oh, fill me in in the end, will you? I'd like to know what they're saying, but I, I, I need to concentrate. Shoot me, it's damn quick. So I'm going to have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Bother. Damn. Sorry. Well, they do say if you don't spin, you're not pushing hard enough. Normally I'm spinning these GR3 cars all over the place, so uh, you know this is uh, still doing okay. But yeah, Just trying too hard now. Um, I've got a um, Logitech DD Pro that I've had for uh, just on two weeks. So um, just about getting used to it and the pedals now. But as you see, and occasionally I do, um, I do mess up. myself down a little bit on this one I guess if you're pushing it you are going to make mistakes once in a while so at least I'm trying
Uh, quick review of the wheel, thinking of buying that very wheel. Um, one word, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Um, it is, it's phenomenal, it's a game changer. Um, the true force is just amazing. The feel that you get is amazing. I can feel all the vibrations through the rig. Um, it mounted to the GT Omega Prime beautifully. All three bolts straight in. When you're going through a corner, you can feel the tyres gripping the road as you go through the corner. Uh, if you go across the curve, you can feel the rumble. If that then turns to grass, it feels different. Um, it's heavy on a like a, a full-on racing car with big racing tyres. It's light on something like a BMW with comfort soft tyres. Uh, it's blown my mind. It's blown my mind. Um, and I'm catching spins that I could never catch on the G29. Um, you can ask the guys. I don't think I would have been driving this race like this before this wheel. Um, it's just giving me a lot of information, a lot of confidence. I had to play around with the settings quite a bit. Um, out of the box, it was very heavy. I had to change around quite a lot of stuff. So if you do get it, um, drop me a direct message or jump in the Discord, whatever. I'll happily share the settings with you. Um, but ph phenomenal, phenomenal. The key, the um, button setup is obviously different to the Fanatec. You haven't got all of the bells and whistles, but I like the layout of the, um, the buttons. The only criticism that I would have um, and I actually like the flappy paddles more than the um, fan attack as well I, I do like the rigid ones the only criticism I'd have is this little joystick um, I would have preferred like the um, the four-way rocker on the uh, PlayStation controller um, that's about the only criticism that I've got over this whole rig. It is just. It is just out of this world. The pedals are beautiful at the moment. I haven't put the hard dampeners in, but I'm going to do that. They come with it. I'm going to put the hard ones in to make it harder. Um, but. Oh, the brakes. So much different because you've got the load cell. You, you know, you, it's all pressure. I'm finding that I can um, ease off of them better. So the, well, if you look at my brake gauge, I think you'll find that I'm actually um, trail braking better than I was before. Um, just, it's a lot of money, but it is awesome. And I was going to go Fanatec. I only got this because I got this on a Black Friday deal. So I got 15% off of everything. Although I had to fight for that a little bit. Um, and um, I was doing something for somebody on the channel i can't go into too many details um but they gave me a contribution towards the logitech they um his son had one had a logitech and one had a um fanatech and um my friend um he somehow came by two logitechs and um, he was going to give me one of them. It didn't happen because the son that was on the Fanatec wanted to ditch the Fanatec and take the Logitech. Uh, and then they sold the, um, the Fanatec on. Uh, but the guy came good and I've been working with him. And um, yeah, he, he, um, he contributed towards a Logitech, which is the reason why I went that route. But I tell you now, I am so, so pleased that I went that route. So pleased. Um, uh, is it worth the money? Is it worth the money? Um, it's expensive, but if you're going to go for, let's say, the uh, Fanatec uh, DD Pro, which is what a lot of people are doing with the club sport pedals, if you're in the UK, by the time you put the tax and everything else on, it came out to a similar price to what I paid. Um, yes, you haven't got the ecosystem. That doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. I know that they are working on stuff, uh, but I'm not the sort of person that's jumping around from different wheels and different pedals and different this and different that. I had my Logitech G29 for over 15 years and it just did me fine. If this would do me five to 10 years, 
I'll be happy. Uh, but I absolutely love this thing. Absolutely love it. I need to get on Logitech's affiliate program at some point. Um, I've not been accepted. I've tried a couple of times, but just not uh, just not big enough. But uh, I, uh, I do like Logitech products. I've had Logitech keyboard, mice, all sorts of stuff over the years. And I have actually got the old um, shifter from the G29, but I haven't got the adapter. I've got to get an adapter, and I'm probably going to put uh, the shifter on. as well right we're away on four minutes oh, I know I break too late on that one right going through here what I've been trying to do is get over to the left as Kuro said or Tommy said and then just run the left hand tyre along that bit of kerb but it's quite hard to do. And I was trying to go a bit deeper into that one. The other thing I would say, um, if you're considering the Fanatec at all, talk to Christy. He's an absolute Fanatec fan, um, but he's having problems with his GT um, Pro at the moment. He's got this issue with the uh, with the shaft moving. Uh, but I told him about a aftermarket shaft collar, and he got that the other day, I believe. So check in with him as to whether that has solved the issue. Or do what Kuro and one or two of the others on here are doing and go the um, Crossport DD Plus, which has got the QR2 with it on Fanatec. Uh, but that's a thousand pounds just for the base. Then you need pedals and a wheel to go with it. So that one works out to be a pretty expensive bit of kit as well. But that, that has got full force in it, which is similar to Logitech's True Force. Um, but I do love the uh, I do love the Logitech. I mean, I can feel every single one of these curves that I'm on. Uh, okay, I didn't catch that one because that was too aggressive. But I knew that that was going the moment I got in the corner. Um, actually, tell you what I'm going to do. Um, let's come out of there. Yeah, I love my G and of course I've kept my G29 as a spare, so I've, I've got that should anything happen with this then I've, I've got that one so uh, settings uh, car settings oh. um, so we're gonna go medium tires and look I'm practicing without doing this again <laughs> I'm too eager to get into the practice mode I wonder why it was moving around a bit at least I'm remembering for the race I've got to get a habit of doing this straight away. Thank you again for your help this evening my friend. 
couldn't do this without you. But I couldn't do it without all of you that are helping me. Uh, it's just fantastic having a pit crew. Uh, you can concentrate on the driving, not have to worry about this, that and the other. I tell you what, assuming this car in front is on medium, is on softs, the mediums actually do really well along here. Mediums are pretty good tyres. They really are. Oh, we've got Golf 2 behind us. He's quick. Charles Leclerc out the front. Um, yeah, there's a few good, few quick people in here. Um, What we think this is a low lobby. Right, oh, let me just concentrate. I'm not going to worry. Thank you, guys. I'll tell you what, Faz, this uh, devil man livery is not doing me any harm, is it? Keep sending out those devil vibes. Mess with me, I'll send the devil. I got smacked in the side. Ah, oh, come on. What am I doing? That kerfuffle with that car back there has got in my head again. I don't think that that um, issue at the first lap was, uh, was my issue. I hope it wasn't the Syriac that I went round in front of me. in that, that greeny coloured car guys does anybody remember it's probably a silly question <laughs> yay 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 too deep
Thanks, M1. Sometimes I wonder whether you're just saying that to make me feel better. <laughs> I'm sure some of these I must be at fault for. I just felt with that one I had nowhere to go. He was coming across and I just had nowhere to go. That's how I like it, mate. Honesty is the best policy. Oh, where is everybody? I need it's 30 seconds down the road. Where did I start? I should know all this stuff. But when you've got a really good pit crew, you don't need to. <laughs> Seventh. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. How did Shumi do in that last one? I'll have to look back on the replay. Fifteen seconds to the car in front. Three point seven to the car behind.
I think this is a faster lobby, isn't it? Thank you. That's good to know. Okay, tyres are just starting to give up a little bit of the brakes. a little bit slidey now felt that I'd uh, looked up the uh, I thought I'd looked after the tyres a bit better this race but uh, they seem to be sliding around a little bit
This strategy is brilliant. That's a leader 35 seconds ahead. Makes me wonder whether it is the Charles Leclerc. Somebody just went into us. That looked like a green circle then, up top right, top left even. M1, you're calling these places out brilliantly, my friend. Spot on every time. I could do with these two up front getting together and having a having a bump. <laughs> P5 will do me. I think that's um, probably about as good as I'm going to get, really. I think that was about as good as I was going to get. The guys in front are very much quicker. Oh. Thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, everyone. Raise two positions again. Ooh. That was a tough one. <laughs> tough one again.
Oh, do I want to do one more? What's the DR like? Travis, I don't know how much I can do over the weekend, or it's not raised that much. It's come up a bit tonight. It has come up a bit tonight. Um, I think, guys, I'm, I'm going to have to call it a night there because um, I'm at that point where I mean, I've been racing since nine o'clock. So um, coming up for what? Five hours. And I think if I do another one, I'm going to get to that point where I'm going to get too tired. It was again like last night, one or two little errors come creeping in there. And I don't want to get to a point where I really throw it off the planet and cause big, big problems. Um, so uh, we'll pop across and have a look and see what uh, what gifts we've got and stuff. And we'll change the oil. Um, so we've got a, a login campaign. So 100,000 credits. Thank you very much. And a little three star, which will probably be 5,000. Yeah, a little 5,000 one. Not doing so good on the old uh, roulette tickets this week but uh, doing well in the races so that's uh that's what matters that is what matters so come out of there we'll come down into gt auto we'll shove some oil in the car fast we're sporting your livery my friend we are sporting your livery look at that isn't that gorgeous You know what? That could well be the um, thumbnail for this one. Right. Well, thank you ever so much, guys, for supporting me again uh, throughout the night. Uh, we had a cracking time in the lobbies for a little bit longer than I'd anticipated um, doing 1980s 70s 60s and then the minis for really really great races thoroughly enjoyed that well they weren't races more run what you brung just having a really really great time um just thoroughly enjoyed that i was quite stressed actually when we started and completely chilled during that period which set me up beautifully for the daily race seas and thank you to everybody that has helped me in the chat this evening m1 you've just been on it all of the time um just coaching me through just every question and answer was just there it enables me to concentrate on the racing not have to worry about did i change the tires and what position am i in and can i get this and it's just you're just brilliant you're just absolutely brilliant and everybody else for the encouragement and uh, everything this evening absolutely brilliant i've absolutely loved it um have a really cracking weekend um i'm out early tomorrow morning i don't know what i'm doing tomorrow evening yet uh, but i am out at five o'clock on sunday morning and then we've got family over on sunday and probably won't be leaving till late so i would like to say i might get a little bit of racing done early tomorrow evening but i'm not sure and I'd like to hope that I can get a bit of racing done Sunday evening. Well, late, late Sunday after everybody's gone home, sort of about 11 o'clock, probably jumping on. So uh, you might see a few notes on my on your phones and stuff that Mitchell Morgan is live. It won't be scheduled. None of that will be scheduled. Uh, we should be back on Monday as normal. And then Tuesday, I don't believe I can race because I'm out with the missus um and she's been super patient with me doing this stream so uh i owe her a little bit of time so i'm going to bid you farewell i'm going to wish you a very 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 good weekend and hopefully i'll catch up with you next week sometime to wish you happy christmas but if you are heading off on holiday next week or anything have a smashing christmas a smashing holiday break a smashing new year's etc and i'm rambling yet again because i'm tired so I'm going to call it there. If you could smack the like button on the way out, if you haven't already, would be fabulous. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. And above all else, look after yourselves. And I'll see you again for another stream very, very, very soon. Take care, guys. Bye bye.